we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Where in we... Ooh, made a bit more glass than I thought before this ran out. Uh, definitely the prod sixes help. And the pyroflux. A good investment to multiply out our stone, which is not as good as some of our other resources. What is this? Oh, the belt always looks like it's going backward. It's not going backward. This is fine. Alright, um, what are we focusing on next, I wonder? Um, I still don't see whole night core fragments over here. Which is probably because we need more of them. We've shifted the bottleneck. Um, I think we did have a few ships, or at least a couple, head towards Plato. Um, what's this one carrying? Yep, this one's coming back from Plato. In 8 minutes 45 seconds, we're going to get another 80,000 core fragments. Um, I think this would be about the point where I should spam more ships, but I really don't want to do that. Um, I'd rather get to antimatter ships and then start making those and get rid of the old ones. But to do that, we need um, tier 4, tier 4, tier 4, and then some deep space science. Which means we need to go chase Nakwin. Um, so we need to do, what, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 builds, not counting the builds to make uh, catalogs. But maybe we should start working towards that. How's our cleansing of Nalvis going? That's Plato. I need to know about that as well. Uh, well, it's happening. That is not nothing. That's way too much area that I would want to turret creep all the way across it, even with artillery. But, um, but it is getting done. Should probably head over there and go get some more... Oh, that's right, we set up some drills over here. Turn that stone into landfill. How much have we got? Sitting around on this planet. Uh, 5.4 thousand. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. We already got this one. I could probably go get one, two, maybe even three, four. This one's a little sketchy. I don't think the biters can reach it. Pro probably. We can maybe wait until the beam has cleared those out. First of all. Putting pollution clouds on top of the biters is going to be aggravating them more and costing a little UPS. Um... Speaking of which... Woo, more Factorio? In Indeed, fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pardon my voice warming up. Um... Yeah, so what should we focus on right now? Oh yeah, I wanted to check on Nalvis. Ooh. Ooh, it's getting there. Even though we've only got two beams focused on the task for now. It is happening. If not... If not today, then next Factorio stream we'll be able to declare it... 
uh, Bider Extinction, and then have a much smaller save file. And it'll be better for UPS, which is climbing back toward 50 again. Um, what do we want to do right now in terms of builds? You know what? I feel like replacing an old... Oh, I know what I want to do today. We've got, like, uh, at most two. I think it's literally... I think it's just Granis. I think this is the only place left that's still dependent on cargo rockets. So, why don't we get that out of the picture? Let me just find Entity Cargo Rocket Silo everywhere. Make absolutely sure. Uh, so, there's someone Nalvis, we're not worried about that. Hagen Orbit, we're not using this. Uh, Hagen, that's to send ice to, uh, why is there one on Budkai? Huh? I don't remember placing that. Let's find out soon. Um, was it Granis? Yeah. This one's to support Granis. This one's to support Granis, I believe, yes. Uh, these were the old cargo rockets supporting some other outposts. Uh, Gibil, we're not actually using these anymore. I haven't finished clearing out the old stuff on Gibil yet. Um, how much do we have left in... holy crap. Uh, we still have 180,000 raw imicite. Um, why don't we... Wasn't I going to set this up to automatically send this stuff back to Hagen? I'm pretty sure I could do this remotely. Let's start with the things that we've got the most of, and is the most value. Raw Imicite, Crushed can go here. Crushed, Imicite, and Raw Imicite. Might want to put that in a little bit faster. Why is that disappearing? Because it's... Oh no. Oh no no no. No no no. No. Wrong. Back. Back, I say. Um, I can just get the bots to pick this up. There we go. What about this one? That is slowly filling up. And Bungie Bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't think we need this here anymore. Might need the power pole. Watching your VOD today and noticed your plastic build has no beacons on it. Hmm. So it does. Holy crap. It's got no prod modules either. Hold on. Let me finish what I'm doing first. But yeah, welcome in, Budgie Bum. Indeed, work wasn't horrible today. Ready to watch some Factorio streams until I'm ready to sleep. Hope you're doing well too. Nice, thank you. Um, and here comes some more sand and glass. And we've actually got tons of glass. Nice. Very nice. Probably be a while when, if we actually back up on sand again. Um, let's not lose track of what we're doing. Uh, Gibil, do I have this set to auto launch? Launch on cargo full. Launch on cargo full. Fantastic. I need to speed up. Let 
we should have a few express loaders handy. And there we go. Much better. Just bottlenecked on the bots now. Alright. Um, how much... I guess I can try and calculate this. We, we've got almost half of this cargo rocket full. We've got 7,000 divided by 100. Oops. 70? 70 stacks. Yeah, this is not going to fill up. Just with crushed iridite. Also got 12k glass. How much is 12k? It's stack size 200. That's even less. 60. So 60 and 70, that's still not going to fill up. I'll decide what else to put into it once we've got all of the crushed emesite and glass in here. I might just start sending literally everything. How many bots do we have here? 50, but only half of them are active. Oh, the request over here needs to be more aggressive. Even though... Even though it's requesting 50, uh, it's trying to schedule bots so that it would never go over 50-ish. There we go. That's what I want to see. Alright. Um, and I want... What are we bunking for? Myclat, Verzor, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Change cargo rocket landing pad from Iridium to purple stuff. Don't need to. Because we didn't actually have a dedicated rocket for raw emesite. Actually, we... Yeah, no, we didn't because we were sending crushed emesite because the stack efficiency was better. Um, but basically, uh, if this lands at a landing pad... Well, any landing pad for that matter. Um, is that Im iridite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, we're going to filter out everything but iridite core fragments uh, down to this thing. Which is going to have a train pick it up and bring it back to the mall. And once we've got 150 stacks of anything in the mall, uh, it is available to LTN. So that's how we're going to get that um, back up here with minimal effort. And the bits that are left over at the end, we'll just have to do a little, little something to get going. Um, so let's see. I need to remember to check back here. I don't suppose we have a notification. No. Notification speaker handy. I'm not going to make one. It's going to take quite a while to empty all that raw emesite, I think, but not so much the crushed emesite. What are we down to? 4.1k. Maybe I can get the bots to focus on the crushed for a bit. Kind of filling up glass and crushed, sort of randomly. Oh, I see what's happening here. Well, that actually works out pretty well. I want to see the last of the crushed emesite move, and then I can just set this to request literally everything from the robot network. And I'll find its way back to the mall. And if we run out of cargo rocket sections... Well, we won't, because I think they're automatically resupplied still. Actually, I don't know about that. Didn't we have to send solid rocket fuel to this place to keep it going? Yeah. 
We'll just we'll just empty this as much as we can and then we'll come here personally to finish the job. Why is that bot hovering? Oh, it doesn't have a place for that. Hmm. Wait, so all the storages are full? I guess that does make sense. Oh yeah, we're still pouring we're still pouring this uh into the active providers. And trains are still picking up. Oh, that's actually That's actually a lot of raw imicite. I've still got it drilling, I've still got it connected. Ah, oh, this one's empty. Provide stack threshold one. Why doesn't the train pick this up? Um, I can maybe make the priority higher. Um, but yeah, since we're a little short on emisite for the moment, maybe I should let that keep going. But then... Well, it takes... We're gonna run out of liquid rocket fuel, aren't we? Hmm. There's still crude here. Oh, there's still crude here. Where is the crude coming from? This must be it. Huh. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, I think I'll let this one keep going until these mines are emptied. Of the raw imicite. I'm not going to go to the trouble of making any new mines on this planet, though. I do want to phase out all the extra stuff, except for the core fragments. But, yeah. Looks like that's the last of the crushed imicite. So, what we're going to do now is... Simply set requests the entire logistic network. And this one can just be raw imicide. Maybe I'll put everything but raw imicide in this one for now. So give me one more constant combinator. Hopefully we've got one lying around. Fantastic. And we're just going to input raw imicide. A large enough negative number to push it into the negatives so that we will not be requesting raw imicite over here. Just because that's going over this way. Cool, cool, cool. And that's going to auto-launch on full. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Cargo rocket sections. Um... I think we should maybe not request those just yet. How many did we put in here? Just a few. Um, yeah, take those out. Give me a filter inserter. What's this little square plus thing for? Cargo rocket sections. Is that not all of them? There we go. You would think the construction bots... Oh, are they in the train? Oh, okay. Let's just empty the train. There we go. That makes sense. I remember my days of imicite shortages, so do I. And then I remember my days of just imicite always being uh, saturated. And then I remember my days of this, um, where we are back to not having infinite imicite all the time. Ooh, I should put some... It doesn't make that much difference. Advanced chemical plants, we can't use prod modules for this step. And, I mean, I can do it with fewer machines, it'll be better for UPS. But other than that... 
not that big of a deal. We put advanced furnaces here. Again, we can't use prod modules. Uh, here we go. This step needs some advanced chemical plants. That's actually kind of really important. Uh, I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so I kind of got a little sidetracked. I still want to go to Granis and get rid of the old stuff, but... That boy was pointing out... No, Budgie Bum. Plastic build has no beacons. Yeah, it's not just no beacons, it's no prod modules either. Um, that's... As much as coal is not... And petroleum are not um, problem resources for us, this playthrough, uh, I, I would really like to do better than this. So let's slap together a updated plastic build. What's the main thing chewing up your UPS? Who knows? Um, let's see. Oh, I can point over here. For some reason, looking at a big map, this one's not as bad, uh, but looking at a map way zoomed out actually lowers the UPS. Um, I guess it's just not somewhere where they've optimized. It's not that important, and or there's only so much to optimize with the rendering of the map or something. Hmm. Anyway, uh, what do we got? Circuit networks are up to two. That's a lot better than last time. That's why we're... That's why we're net negative on UPS with the giant containers from bulk rail unloaders. Uh, transport lines, is that trains? Like rail? Or is, does that include belts and stuff? Entity update is almost seven. That's like half. Electric network is actually, is actually three. Electric network is more than circuit networks. This playthrough. Not bad. Trains are only at one. One point two almost. Script update is hovering around four to five. What is script update doing, I wonder? Is that... Uh, does spaceship... Considering how much this fluctuates, I wonder if this is spaceships. Mod space exploration is also like five. Well, that doesn't seem to add up to 14, does it? This is like 5, this is like 3 right now, that's 8, 9, and 7. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the way this is displayed, that all doesn't add up to this. Oh, update is up here, 20. Okay, that makes sense. Good evening, Glacier Wolf and Verzor. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we need advanced chemical plants or plastic. Uh, that's the wrong search. Advanced chemical plant. Oh, that's this one. Plastic. And we're going to design it for tier 9 prods, uh, tier 9 modules. And just roll it back to whatever we've actually got for now. This makes a lot more sense when we've got tier 6s available if we really want them. Uh, one could argue... Well, it certainly makes less sense to do it when you don't yet have the advanced assembly machines and advanced chemical plants. Um, but since we've got the final buildings in place... It definitely makes sense to design for the maximum of modules. We don't have to update this again. So how fast would this be? 1.2k plastic per second? Um, that's 
more than 13 bells. That might be a little, a little excessive. Just, just a bit. Let's do eight because we can easily, you know, belt that down to a train stop. How fast would that be? 806 per second. Oh, do they each give us more than one belt? They do. We could just bottleneck it to the belts. That's fine. It's like 90% uptime from the machines. Um... So we're getting 90 times 8. 720 per second with a stack size of 100. 7.2 stacks per second. Which means it takes like... Um, less than 14 seconds to fill up a train. Sounds good to me. Fill this out. Thanks for the UPS explanation. It looks to me like you have too much stuff running. <laughs> you don't say. Um, okay, so this goes here. And then this goes here. And we want how about this? Oh, how about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might be a little bit of a pain for the inputs, but the outputs could be super neat. Whoop whoopsie whoop whoopsie daisies. I missed. And... Same thing... Oh, I can't flip this, can I? Uh, why you gotta be this way? Same thing on the opposite side. How's that going to work out? You can obviously put this here. Or wherever. Um, ooh, we could do the same thing for the input. How much uh, coal does it need? Nowhere near as much. Uh, so 112 per second, that's a bit more than one belt of coal for each column. So we're going to go... Something like this. Two, three... How far does this reach? Ooh, perfect. One, two... I mean, it's beyond perfect. Purple belts are amazing. One, two, three. I think that's right. We can put this one here. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. Uh, and we'll just have a splitter, because we only need the two belts. Where should I put it? Yeah. Definitely here. Cool. And then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Oh, that even lines up the same. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Perfect symmetry, except for the beacon, which can't be helped. That's very tidy. Alright, let's test it. Uh, obviously I need some 
drop off for how fast do we go through the fluid? 4.4 thousand, uh, call it 4.5 thousand per second. Um, hmm. Which side would be better for this? Ooh, we could probably do the same thing with the pipes. Let's do steel pipes. Individually, the machines need 560 per second. It's rough. Oh, we're one off. Uh, no. How can this be? How could this happen? That's a bit loud. Yeah, it seems like you can't hear it unless I trigger the microphone. Cool, cool, cool. So if that goes there, that doesn't line up. I would either have to move the bell. Ooh, I could move the bells. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And... This one goes here. And that still reaches. And then we can do what we like with this. And we can have the fastest possible... Oh, this goes here. We can have the fastest possible... Uh... Connections here. But then... Is that going to be enough? If I put it over this side... One off? Really? Uh, I could put another one of these over here. I don't think it lines up. One off again. I know. Come on, there has to be... Can't end like this. There has to be ways to make this line up all nice, right? No? God damn it. Oh, Beacon. Beacon needs to mosey on out of here. Put, put this one down here. Wait, what is this? Oh, right. This makes me a little sad. I don't know if that'll be fast enough. Especially these ones. We can test it. That's the point of the editor, after all. It'll be a little faster than it would normally be because steel pipes have a larger capacity. Petroleoleum? Um, it's going to be super fast, so maybe let's do this. And... Coal is going here. And in it goes. Yeah, we're bottlenecked on petroleum in the pipes for the last two. The second last one isn't too bad. The second one is totally fine. Let's try swapping these around. And maybe... We might need pumps, but I suspect if I just
give all of these like their own individual bits of pipe. Not that this one has its own individual bit of pipe, but it seems to be enough. Uh, that might do just fine. And it's actually going to be symmetrical around this thing. Usually it's like one off on one side. And like this. Maybe put a pump every two machines. Yeah, I was hoping to avoid pumps this time. It looks like we can. Yeah, it, it very much looks like we can. Look at it go. So that's not quite... It's like 90% of 560 per second petroleum gas. So about 510-ish. Um, because we're bottlenecking on the output belts. They need to add three wide beacons, indeed. Well, I think the compact beacons are actually three by three. No, they're two by two. The basic beacons are three by three. And that's it. That's full. <laughs> So what's how how long did that take? Um, it's ninety per second times eight to make sixty four k. Brackets don't matter with division and multiplication, right? Um, that many seconds, this many minutes, that doesn't sound right. Um. Oh, brackets did matter. Huh. Okay, so... Wait, wait, wait. 90 times 8, 720. 64,000 over 720 per second is 88.89 .89 seconds. Just under a minute and a half to completely fill this thing with only 8 machines. Now that's some UPS efficiency. And then we need a requester here. I was thinking of copy-pasting it, but we're going to be making some much bigger requests. Advanced chemical plant plastic. And that's it. For coal, we're going to be asking for like four train loads. Three or four train loads. Just make sure the trains keep it topped up. Uh, it has a stack size of 50, so... We don't actually consume coal that fast for all that. It's four and a half stacks per second. Alright. 150... 100? And for petroleum, we can fit 600k here. So let's ask for... 500k. That's where a lot of petroleum goes anyway. And do I even need to worry about balancing it or just let it do its thing? End game plastic build? Yes it is. If you finished the rocket science, would you mind showing it once you finished here? Uh, sure. Did we actually build the rocket science yet? We did. Uh, let me just finish this, actually, because the, this is a little, little complicated. What are we missing here? Accumulators, that makes sense. Um, it's actually the only thing. Uh, are we making accumulators at the mall? We are. Once we get to 150 stacks, which is about... 7,000, I believe. We're at 6.9k now. It's literally just about to happen.
I wish we could see the exact... Oh, you can! In this instance, you can see the exact count. 6992. Uh, we just lost some, apparently. Probably the bot's moving them around. They report a negative number for some reason. 6999. And that is 7000. LTN should... That was quick. That's not accumulators. Um, <laughs> LTN should schedule a train to come and get accumulators shortly. Blue Lightning DT, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fraser, if I didn't say so, welcome, welcome also. Own Galaxy, welcome in. You can move the machines up. Can you move the machines up? Uh, the chemical plants. I probably could. I would have to move it up like... Oh, how, ma how many tiles was it? Literally one tile. We could do that. I'm pretty sure. Hold up. So... Well, this one would have to be here, which is fine. And this will go here. We can get rid of this. And then we just line this up so that everything connects. Oh my goodness. Synchronized. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Only one, two, three, four, five, six sections of pipe to any one machine. Nice. Keep it running for a bit. Uh, but yeah, where were we? Oh yeah, yeah, I wanted to see. I wanted to witness it if possible. The accumulators being delivered. Because it's going to be all the cooler to explain. Huh. I didn't even notice. All of these are ready to auto launch. Huh. So we did get accumulators. Well, no, we didn't. The reason. The reason we don't have. Uh, Navigation satellites is because accumulators. How fast does this make? One per second. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a little faster than we need navsats. Yeah, I'd really like to... Products finished zero. Okay, cool. I'd really like to witness this happening the first time. We've got 7,000 accumulators. Which is 140 stacks, actually. Oh. Oh, we need like a thousand more. Um, <laughs> whoopsie daisy. Don't mind old man T hacks. He's just. just losing his mind. There we go. Where are we up to now? 7.1. Sad. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to... Mark this for deconstruction. I'm pretty sure there's no construction parts here. And once I cancel that... Uh, the train won't... It, the train will stop no pathing to here. I'm pretty sure. So that way we can see this thing work. Um, so basically, we've got... Because there's so many items to drop off here for solids, uh, we've got a bot drop-off. 
overall throughput that we need for the for these things is not very high. Um, so it's perfect for bots. Uh, we've got, you know, requested chests to supply items to all of these. And I'll get to the circuitry in a minute. But um, here we've got blank tech cards, electric furnaces, and speed modules. Um, just belted to these machines. We've got room for some more if we want them. And here's where we get our satellite telemetry data. And then back to... Well, not to LTN, because there's only one train that picks this up. Why is it over here? Oh, I remember this. Um, so, what this circuitry does is... Every time these inserters uh, read some hand contents, we get a pulse. It doesn't matter, really, if it's a pulse or a hold signal for this. But on the green wire, we detect something. That goes to here, which says if anything is detected, uh, output R for reset, which goes to this uh, timer. If R is equal to zero, output T input count. T1 connected to itself, round and round in circles it goes. And then over here, we've just got a condition. If timer is less than 12,000 ticks, sorry, 1,200, 20 seconds, uh, then output navigation satellite. Um, if navigation satellite equals zero, output everything. I can't remember why I did that. Um, but basically we've got like... Oh yeah, yeah, set filters blacklist um, on these as well. So whenever the timer is less than 20 seconds, if, if we swung any of these inserters less than 20 seconds ago, we're outputting navigation satellite to the blacklist for these things. So they're not going to pick up the navsat. Um, if navsat is equal to zero, output everything input count. Why... Why is that there? Oh, it's a memory cell. It's connected to itself. I don't remember, and I only built this yesterday. And I can't reverse engineer it in my brain right now. If if navigation satellite signal is not detected, as in if we're allowed to put the navsat in, output everything, one. That might have been left over from when I was using whitelist. Yeah, I think it was. I think that just goes here. And we don't need this one. What? Uh, and up here, I say, if we're full on satellite telemetry data, or satellite telemetry, um, I just output heat shielding to the blacklist for these things so that we stop sending more rockets because you do have to limit their output otherwise you'll start wasting um satellite telemetry wasting all the inputs it syncs all the inserters to input satellites at the same time yes so they all launch at the same time correct Nash V, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Could you explain why your trains and the station loading, unloading look different? Sure. Uh, so there's a mod called Space Locomotive. Um, these use some... Uh, there's also Space Cargo Wagon, Space Fluid Wagon, which are just better um, than the 
than the regular ones, except for the minor detail that for some reason, if we use Crastorio 2's uh, vehicle equipment grids in the cargo wagons, uh, the upgraded space cargo wagons, it only works if the train is on manual for some reason. But putting that aside, um, the fluid, the, the space fluid wagons and uh, the space cargo wagons have 25% more storage. The locomotives themselves run off of space train power packs, which are considerably more of a logistical headache than other train fuels, but the space locomotives are faster, um, significantly faster. Let's see, compare it to the locomotive, uh, which I don't know if this is the same stats as vanilla, because it is Crastorio 2. Weight 10,000, is that the same for all of them? Note the nuclear one's heavier, and this one is also the same, 12,000. Uh, max speed 220 kph, acceleration power 2 megawatt. This one is 250 kph, 3 megawatt of acceleration, consumes nuclear fuel. Efficiency 10%, that's nasty. Um, that consumes uranium fuel cells, to be clear. And then you have to deal with the output, the used up cells. Uh, and these consume space train power packs. Uh, acceleration 4 megawatt, so like one third more acceleration, or four times, uh, double the acceleration of regular locomotives. And max speed 518. That's more than double. It's more than double the nuclear locomotive, actually. And with K2's vehicle equipment grid stuff, um, I put in advanced additional electric engines. So we get more, more speed, more acceleration, more top speed. We pay electricity to make that happen. The train can't run on these alone, but it makes the fuel consumption much, much, much more efficient. Uh, and then, so the power packs need to be manufactured. They also, they cost batteries, other batteries, and steel plate. They also need to be recycled when they break, which is 1% of the time when they get used up. Uh, which means you've got, like, two outputs from the locomotives that need to be dealt with. Brought back here for the broken ones. Uh, but yeah, you can just put a little little battery and sulfuric acid in one to refurbish it. Um, for my depots that load the space train power packs, we've got some sushi belt stuff. Uh, basically, this contraption here causes us to get only a half belt of throughput. Because we've got priority input from a recycled side. That red filter there just means nothing is allowed to pass through this part. So it's like we're bottlenecking it on one belt here. Just like that. Um, so basically we take our input, we get 50-50 out, and then we take 50% of it and recycle it. And the recycled side has priority input. So this part slows down. And that's how we get 50-50 over here. Um, and what that results in is that we've always got space on the belt to output uh, the used up uh, battery packs. And those will get picked up again by uh, the battery pack charging stations. And the ones that are broken will just get filtered off to be picked up by... Why is there a regular... Why is there a discharged power pack in here? How did that happen? Someone care to explain? That's very strange. You know, all those splitters could just be a single yellow belt. 
same thing? I guess. If you want to spoil my fun. Shumph, I say. Um, but yeah, anyway, the, uh... Oh. Oh, we've got a train on the way. It's accumulator time. Let's go. Let's go. This is one scenario I didn't anticipate where we've got, um... Where we've got the rockets ready to go. And now we're adding the, uh, satellites. I think they're just... You're joking. I forgot the output for this. I forgot the output for the satellites. Okay. I see how it is. I could have sworn I... Maybe, maybe I missed it because... No, no, it's just not there. Whoopsie daisy. You sort of have to laugh at yourself for that one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys can do the laughing for me. Alright. Uh, passive provider, I suppose. And... I don't think we really need um, to accumulate 20, uh, sorry, 48 satellites. Oh, it's going to launch just one. And then we're going to launch the rest of them after this guy. No, I think the time is going to get to 20 seconds and then we're going to launch another one. Yep. Why didn't they all... Oh. Oh my. Maybe next time, all six of them. It's gonna get a bit louder. And there's our satellite telemetry data. Nice. Alright, so a bunch of these need to actually make rocket parts now. Which means we should have... Yeah, we should have enough satellites to go around. It's actually, it's very bottlenecked by bots, this thing. To the surprise of no one. It doesn't need to... It doesn't need to be faster, though. You know what? I'm pretty sure we can just have a limit of one extra one here. Actually, no, I want, um, I want enough stored in here to replace all of these, and no more. Alright, we got three satellites on this side, three satellites on this side, which means, uh, this should be the one where they all launch simultaneously. No? Yes? Yeah, no, it should... Yeah, it keeps resetting the timer. Cool, cool, cool. 20 seconds after the last insert a swing. It's happening. It's for sure bottlenecked on that inserter. What, this one? This inserter right here? Oh, you think so? Hmm. That actually might be correct. And I don't care. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. 
So how many more of these launches before this is backed up and we stop launching for a bit? Probably about four or five. It is bottlenecked, but overall not enough since it takes long enough to make the rockets. Yes, exactly. Uh, we are, however, looking for 10,000 rocket tech cards to fill a train. Uh... We're looking at... Well, less than an hour, actually. Fair enough. I could speed this up, but I don't really see the necessity right now. Cool. Back to the mall with you. And... Looks like we're way ahead on glass. Not so much stone. Oh, wow. That's gonna... I mean, I do like that I have this storage here, but it's gonna... Make it take a little bit longer before before we start filling up on sand down here. Okay, so what about this build? Oh, it's going. It, it's going full speed. Oh, wow. I think it was... I think the superior inserters were barely deleting the plastic bars uh, as quickly as they were coming in. Hmm. Actually, I want to be sure. What? What is this? I want to be absolutely sure that these things can run at full speed, which I'm pretty sure they can. You can see it's stopping and starting. That's because... We're bottlenecking on a 90 per second plastic bar belt. Um, which is totally fine by me. Eight machines, eight purple belts of output. Doesn't get much more efficient than that. Cool, cool, cool. Now we want to remove the cheat inputs. Remove the cheat outputs. Uh, name the station. Actually, let me do this first. Short trains are allowed. I'm not even going to bother to balance it. It's just so fast. And coal hasn't been a problem. Um... Oh, wait. No, I do need to... Okay, I'm only going to allow long trains to pick this up, because that's going to get dropped off 50-50. That's going to be consumed 50-50. Do I have permission for short trains to pick up plastic, and have we ever used it? I don't. We've never used it. Convenient. Very convenient. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Plastic is completely saturated, though. Um, where, where was it? I'm going to have to turn off our drop-off for this. And maybe I'll put a notification. I didn't make the blueprint yet, did I? Because I'm not going to move tens of thousands of plastic around. Or coal, for that matter. Uh, what am I doing? Plastic. Advanced chemical plant. Advanced plastic. Wait, 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 wait. Let's give it some lower tier modules. How many prods do I have? left over. Like 125. I really don't think plastic is important enough this playthrough to warrant the tier 6 modules for the moment. Um, and we also don't need that kind of speed. 
So we'll go tier threes. And efficiencies, a bit of speed. Negative seventy percent power consumption. Fantastic. And that's gonna be our build now. Advanced template. Advanced plastic. Make sure we've removed the cheat items. 86.25.1 is our snap to. And... There it is. Should probably do one for sulfur while we're at it. Um... Oh, we have done sulfur. Fantastic. Good, good, good. I'm glad we don't have to go to that trouble right now. So how fast does this consume coal? 48 per second. Uh, we're looking at less than 8 minutes, but that assumes that trains are going to take plastic at maximum speed, which they're not. Check back in on this in a bit. Or maybe I should put a notification speaker there. So we've got our blueprint. Get rid of this now. I'm liking this pattern that keeps coming up of uh, of the di diagonals like this to get the belt outputs. I think it looks kind of cool. Okay, so what are we doing right now? I think I set this to 2000, yep. So we're not picking up heat shielding, so we're not making more rockets. So we're not ending up with... Um, one of these... No, we're fine. Uh, so we're not ending up with satellite telemetry getting overloaded and wasted. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do today. Um, let's go to... Granis. It's been so long that I had to uh, do anything with Granis that I almost forgot the name. I think I'm getting a little bit less bad with names. Maybe. Uh, get rid of this. Can I make... Ooh, there it is. Efficiency 4 would let me make portable fusion reactor. I just need fusion test data. Did I say efficiency? I meant energy 4. On your right of your mall, a train is stuck from yesterday? Oh yeah, I got rid of it. Um... This thing, I had it set to wait for passenger because I thought I was going to ride it back here. We are almost 10% loaded on the rocket Hello tech there. cards. How is the Prese in this marathon? VNGCSG hype, VNGCSG hype. Kevin DK, thank you so much for the 10 months. Much appreciated. The Prese in this marathon is going pretty well, honestly. We're tidying things up a bit more. UPS is creeping back up a little bit. Um, and I was about to go to Granis to do a little more of exactly that. Because Granis... 
Uh, is the last... Whoops. Grannis Orbit. Grannis is the last outpost that's entirely dependent on cargo rockets. We've still got a bunch of cargo rockets we're using at... I think it was Gibbel? Yeah. We're just... We, we've got tons and tons of raw MSI. Ooh. Launch... Launch on cargo full. It's not launching. That probably implies... Where was it? Yeah. Oh, that's a... That's a bottleneck. That is definitely a bottleneck right there. Uh, let's do something about that. So I'm just using the old system to... Where is this thing? I'm using the old system to send uh, these raw emisite back until we drain those mines. And I'm also using it to send back everything in the robot network on that surface outpost. Oh, where did that come from? What? Who? What? Did... That wasn't from the train, right? Maybe it was from the train. Well, whatever the case, uh, we can now go almost as fast as the blue belt. That should probably be fine. On second thought, I should have put another one of these here while I was at it. And I need to set... And yes, I... That way we can get like 40 per second instead of 20. So this will go back to the mall. Once we've got 150 stacks, it'll automatically get taken. And we'll have more raw emisite. Big cool, Petri Cottontail. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. He's trying his hardest. One little arm against the world. <laughs> Indeed. Are we there yet? Almost. We are en route to Grenus, where we will start the Spellvader. I really hope zero zero isn't taken. Uh, I think it might be. Let's see. Uh, I think it's square bracket GPS equals zero comma zero comma name of surface. And then it's right here. That is unfortunate. I oh, it's well, it's not as in the way as I thought it would be. Um. Hmm. Does, do we have the construction train active here? We do. Why are there no bots in it? Nope, there are bots. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What if we park... Hmm. Once I get down there personally, it'll be a lot easier to sort out. How about... Well, how about I... Oops, wrong shortcut. How about I connect this first? here. That may or may not be all it takes. Oh. Wait. How do you... Oh, you're going up here for the roundabout. That makes sense. It's 
So we need a path around this corner right here because we need to deconstruct it to make room for the space elevator. Did I clear this? I think I did. Old trains are so slow. I know, right? You can't pick a dolly's rails? Nope. And then down here, please. And then we should be able to start deconstructing all of this. Needs to go right in the middle of that roundabout. Wait for these trains to pass, I guess. Wait, exclude trees slash rocks. There we go. I'm pretty sure the train is facing... Or it can move to the right. We need to get this done before we suffer a shortage of Vulcanite core fragments. I suspect we'll have a relatively long time before we have to worry about that. Oh, it's so slow. I'm pretty sure it can't path back here, so... Hmm, should I just hope that two trips will be enough? Worst case, I can use the space capsule to come back down. Actually, the robots probably have more range than all that. Can probably park it here. Where's our train gone? Here it comes. Empty all of that. Why is it so slow? No, really. Why is it... Oh, wait, what? No, why is it not getting dropped into the... What? Something did get put into the... Are we having power problems? Oh, no. Uh... I kind of sort of disconnected. 99% of the power. Um. 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 Okay, nobody panic. It's fine. We'll sort it out. Do we still have bots and power poles in this thing? We do. Go over here immediately, please. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, I'd never seen a bulk rail unloader be behave like that before. No, build the power poles. Uh, they're prioritizing the decon. And they, it actually reached 15 seconds of inactivity already. Okay, look, we're just going to cancel this for the moment. And we're going to build some power poles. With our two... Oh, now it's full. Uh... Why did you have to prioritize picking stuff up and then getting yourself full? Mm. I wonder if I can... Okay, that's one way to do it. Weirdly enough, by marking... There was like exactly one huge storage tank in here, even though the bots were all hovering above the train 
telling them to build this somehow let them like pick this up even from outside the train and place it so now we've got power again okay 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 And you can go and empty yourself before trying that again. Are they lighted poles? They are. I copy-pasted them. Alright, let's, uh, let's figure out where our, our orbital thing goes on Granis Orbit. Show me the middle first. Fantastic. Alright, zero zero Grenis orbit. Beautiful. And this is still blocked, of course, but now we know where to anchor. Right about here. And for some reason we have one construction bot in this thing. Gumbatte, little robot. There you go. He has opinions? Let your doggo co-host. <laughs> it's not my doggo. I would never afflict a neighborhood with a barking dog like that. I'm not a monster. Why are our bots not building the scaffolding? I know they take longer to do this when there's a big lot of ghosts, but this is getting a bit ridiculous. Alright, fine, I'll do it myself. One off. One off. I'm not gonna mess that one up. I'll just make the thingy a bit bigger as well. The brush. At least when I get the solar panels done. You can let the bots do the rest. One off. Am I ever going to get this right? Also, I gave all my bots away, so... There we go. One of these days. Oops. And now the bots are doing things. I see how it is. Malicious compliance. still being pretty sketchy about it. Mm, nope, they're not going to finish it. Make sure I have 50, at least. 
All right. Now we can place our blueprint again. That's the wrong one. And we have electricity. Uh, and I would also like to have some RoboPorts to have the bots build the rest of this. Might be ghosts on the planet messing them up? On the planet? I don't know where I've got... Like, I, I've gone out of my way to avoid having lots of ghosts lying around. Unfortunately, the one thing I can't search for with factory search is ghosts. Alright, so back to Gibbel. And we need our train. Why is it still... Oh, wow, that's a long timer. Really? Sh is this... I don't think we even need the uh, unloader. Like, I've already got it set up... Oh, that's stack size 1. I see. But yeah, I've already got it set up to take out anything that doesn't belong in here. We've only got one cargo wagon. Alright, that's probably... Probably didn't need most of that. Uh, let's go wait over here. And with any luck, we'll be able to put down our space elevator this time. Fantastic. There it is. And of course we'll actually have to get it started. Uh, it's only a 2000 radius planet, so it's going to be relatively cheap for the spellivator cables. I might have missed it when I asked badly. Is it a requirement that the elevator goes at zero, zero? Nope, it's just my OCD. But also... Um, for, if we're not going to cover the entire planet in core drills like we've done this time, um, there's fewer core seams the further out you go, uh, and there's also, you get fewer core fragments from them the more core drills you have. So, um, where somewhat incentivized to like it doesn't really save a lot of ups um it's more the save file size uh if we do say a couple of outposts like this we're gonna get more um more core fragments for the same area assuming that like the planet sizes are equal it makes you happy indeed um so the center is actually, you know, makes the most sense for where the space elevator should go. Alright, can I have them place... The requester? Fantastic. And let's get this uh, elevator started. Only 400, or it's functional. It's not even... it's 20 stacks. 20 stacks of Spellivator cable. I'm kind of excited, looking forward to getting rid of all the old cargo rockets. Recycling the cargo rocket sections 
Well, I was going to say that's going to be a big task, but really it's going to be like a one-minute task of setting up something to recycle them all. And then it's going to take a while. And we have to clear the old rail blocks out. Uh, but yeah, we're almost halfway done here. We are, of course, sending electricity down. Might have moved the elevator just far enough to fit in the grid that was on the planet already. I might have. Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to get rid of that grid. That's way more rail and, more importantly, signals than is going to be necessary. Oh, and I think we need another... Nope, the robots should be able to reach every... Oh, wait, no. We need another temporary report over here. How's our Gibble doing, clearing itself out? Are we out of cargo rocket sections? Uh, we are? I think I stopped sending them. Yeah, I did. Um... So if I just switch that back on. Then... We'll start loading up cargo rocket sections again. Why are we sending iron plate? I think it's needed to make the liquid rocket fuel. Actually. Oh wow, the old regular stack filter inserter. That's going to be a bottleneck. Why are we bunking? Why are the rare metal trains busted? What do you mean? Hmm. Good question. Why is it Why do these two have 12 rare metals? That's really strange. That's really, really strange. We only allow long trains here, split it, and... I think LTN just scheduled too many trains? Enriched rare metals. Did I, like, forget that I deleted this or something? No, nope. we need raw rare metals. That's why. I don't know why we've got, like, four trains queued up like this. But we seem to have... We seem to have done a run on our rare metals. Um, which we've been able to take for granted for a very long time. Why are we not processing regular core fragments right now? Wait, what? That's really strange. Like, every... Every type of core fragment would have to have stopped... For us not to be getting vanilla core fragments. This one's happening, it's just slow. I mean, it's not... It's the only one I've seen active so far. Why are all of our core fragments not moving? Okay, the space elevator works. That's not the problem. What? This guy's moving core fragments. What the hell? It was only yesterday we had to double our regular core fragment production uh, processing so that we 
didn't bottleneck all the other core fragments. And now we suddenly have two train loads of this. What the hell is going on? Did they get 12 at, then the stop was disabled? I, if that were the case, why would they loop back to it? This is really, really weird. But I think it'll sort itself out once we have core fragments flowing again. Now why the hell do we not have core fragments flowing? Don't tell me all of our spaceships are stuck or something. I see zero spaceships unloading right now. What's this guy's problem? Why are you full... Oh, for fuck's sake. Why are you full of Holmanite core fragments when you're vis visiting Moss Garden? And it's done the thing where it's kidnapped some bots and for some reason it still has spell evader cable. Um, this guy's just waiting to land. Moss Garden itself. This guy has Holmanite core fragments. This happened earlier as well. Why are ships with Holmanite core fragments coming to Moss Garden? What's Moss Garden's orbit? Moon orbit 1170. Oh, and I just realized I need to, like... I need to get rid of... That's fine. I need to make sure they drop off at the generic drop-off. Reset that memory cell. Okay, I can only think... It seems like since we got Plato... Didn't we have a ship going for, like from Plato to Corsol as well? What is... This one's just waiting to land. Don't, don't tell me. Holmanite core fragments. Uh, we saw this before. I think Plato, Plato orbit is somehow, even though this was just a copy paste edit job, even though we've done this 20 times before, somehow when ships come to Plato, they're getting sent back to other outposts. Is it a wire connection from here? Okay, I need to... What's this guy doing? Fulminate. This one's just working correctly. That should be fine. I think. 15. 15 is Holmanite. Okay, cool. So I need to go to all of my outposts. I think some of them would have been out of fuel in interstellar space by now. If they'd been sent to anything but the nearest outposts. Yep, Holmanite core fragments. Why? Launch to Hagen Orbit, please. I think it's all the local ones that don't go via Foenestra because... Somehow... Well, somehow it's only Plato that's doing this. Uh, and also... I think if our destination was Foenestra, there'd be no, like, mixing of the destination signals. It's going on somehow. So you've got mixed, right? 
Yeah, you need to go to the generic drop-off. And this guy... Also mixed. Go to Hagen Orbit, please. Maybe paste a blueprint to reset the combinators? Um, that wouldn't get rid of extra wires. Oops. Hmm. So... The, is it the green wire or the red wire? The green wire goes straight to the console, and the red wire puts stuff on the memory cell. The green wire also sets requests. Oh god, that brightness every time. Okay. Green wire. If it is somehow getting... Oh! Is that normal? Spellevator cables, etc. on the green wire. It is normal. Hmm. Hmm. I think I should... You know what? I think you're right. I think I should just redo from scratch the combinators over here. That's going to be the surest way of getting rid of whatever's doing this. I don't know where it could possibly be getting, like, other... Uh, other planet orbit signals from. I think I'll head over there directly. R -r -r Overclock? Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's finish building this first. And I'll put some media defense ammo in place, and robots and such. Why is this a filter? Hmm. Probably doesn't need to be. I probably could have used one container for both of these, and then I chose not to for some reason. Whatever. It's fine. Um, so ammo goes in here. And robots. Go in here. Oh, and I just forgot the reason why I keep these separate. Okay. There we go. Why are they not building that? Before I go, let me just finish the solar panels. At what point can I just make the whole steam 
the whole steam a adding my name to the whole stream and adding my name to base stream uh-oh don't give them ideas missing a robo port on the right side missing oh true Catch, thank you. And solar panels go burr. Did we end up with anything in this robot network that doesn't belong? We did not. Don't really think there's a way for that to happen. Uh, give me more flat solars. Why don't we have more flat solars? That's actually kind of alarming. Okay, but we need to head over to Plato and try and fix it. Let's go via Hagen Orbit. I also don't think I could do that. I have 100k points. Uh, chat just jumped again. And I would not do that. 10 gold names won't take too long. Indeed. Yeah, I'm really having trouble coming up with a scenario where Plato does what it's been doing. Where apparently ships pick up some core fragments and then leave and then go directly to some other... Do they go directly? Not saying I would, just asking when I could Let's see. Oh, is this Palto? Plato? I didn't get rid of those extra combinator. Yes, I did. Where the hell is it getting? Is it somehow reading from the memory cell and then sending it back to? That doesn't make sense. That does not make sense. Things will keep moving while Plato is offline. We do have verb T for core fragments. For pulmonite core fragments. I need to go and make sure all of my ships can move again. And since it's all going to bottleneck through this train, we're not supposed to have like several ships dropping off at this generic output all at once. That's the thing. Uh... Alright, we're going to go through all the spaceships and see if they need help. From top to bottom, which apparently starts with Iron Hauler 9. No, Iron Hauler 1, here we go. Iron Hauler 1 is waiting to land at Spiriso Orbit. Spiriso Orbit has the same problem as before. So we need to send 7 um, via Foenestra back to Hagen Orbit. We're going to end up with core fragments in the mall. I think I'll just deal with that instead of forcing them to go through that one drop-off. Uh, holder number 10 is looking okay, actually. Holder number 11 is waiting for Bombato Orbit. And sure enough, we've got the same problem here. Just gonna launch this guy. So they're gonna go drop off at specific drop offs, but the incorrect core fragments will end up in this 
request a chest up here, and this will get taken back to the mall. And then we just have to deal with a whole bunch of core fragments that shouldn't be in the mall. Which, um... Yeah. Uh, Hollow 12 is in motion and has all the same type of core fragments. 13 is... It's not broken, is it? No. It's at Foenestra and it's not changing its destination. It has no power. God damn it. I really want to move to the new spaceships that always have power if they have fuel. I'll have to put a pin in that one. Actually, I should probably go there first. Once the bots finish moving here. 14 is... has Fulminate core fragments. Oh, this is at an outpost. Um, so we're just going to send you home. 15 is empty and in motion. That's good. 16 is... wait, is broken. Hmm. It does happen occasionally. So 13 and 16 need rescue. Where is 16? Closest to Foenestra. 17? Is full of one type of... Wait, what? That's definitely not what's in this logistic network. Thank you, Fraser K. Eighteen is looking good. looks good. Number two is currently unloading. That should be fine. Number 20 is looking good. 21 is unloading over here. 22 is probably waiting to land at the same spot. One sec. Okay, uh, this one has Hormonite Core Fragments, it's waiting to drop off a Taken Orbit, that's fine. 
Ion Hauler 3 is in motion and only has one type of core fragment, and it kidnapped a bot. And it didn't finish filling. Bruh. Bruh, I say. Hominite core fragments, this looks good. Ion Hauler 5 um, is moving. It's going back to Hagen Orbit, it's 35 seconds away, it has two types of core fragments, and is heading for the generic drop-off. Number six. Uh, looks pretty good. Number seven. Looks pretty... it's mixed. Where is it going? Oh, I remember, I think I sent it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sent it home. And this one just has stone core fragments. Hagen Orbit. Fantastic. Iron Hauler 9. Is empty. And heading for Toucan Orbit. I completely forgot about Toucan. Alright. Let's go rescue those ships. Travel time 428. 237. 16 is closer. Three gun? Wait, what? What was with three again? Ion hauler three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. But it's working. It's not causing us problems that we have to action, at least. Okay. So we'll be at Iron Hollow 16 in 2 minutes and 20 seconds. And then once we rescue those two ships, we need to go to... What was it called again? Plato Orbit? Uh, I keep expecting the orbit to be the default when I click this. Uh, we need to go to Plato Orbit, and I'm just going to tear up all of the circuitry and place the blueprint again. And... Hopefully we can just avoid replicating whatever it is that keeps sending ships apparently straight from Plato orbit to other outposts. Uh, I really don't know. Like, I really... Okay, it would have to be, like, receiving from this signal receiver and some of that signal ending up up here, perhaps? Which I can't see a, any possible path for that to happen. The only thing I remember mucking about with that was abnormal was like temporarily removing the spaceship launch signal from this. That's it. But yeah, we'll, we'll just try turning it off and on. See if we can fix it that way. The clearing of Plato will take many hours. The clearing of Nalvis will also take many hours, but though that number is shrinking quite significantly. Cool, cool, cool. 40 seconds till we're at 16. How's our emisite production been lately? Huh. Why is it down now? Probably because core fragments. Wait, no, I'm thinking of production of raw imasite. Uh, what about the consumption of it? Crushed imasite. It's not that 
obviously different. What science multiplier do you plan on? What do you mean? No science multiplier. Only make science go fast at the end. I find science multiplier to just be kind of an obnoxious kind of difficulty. Literally just pour resources into things for longer. Um, alright, we need to board Hauler 16. I need to set its target to construction shit. Oh, crap. Please tell me I brought a spaceship wall. I think I may have forgotten. Also, what do you got? Barrel core fragments. You're trying to go home. Okay. Um... I obviously don't have this wall on me. I can steal it from here, but I don't really want to do that. Well, let me just peek at construction ship. We do not have any wall. Uh, fine. That should be valid. Yep, it's moving to Hagen orbit. Let me get on the ship first. Board construction ship. You know what? We're not even going to have these, um, these types of ships for that much longer. So we can pretend we didn't see that. And then number 13, I think it was. Yes. We need to rescue number 13 because once again the inserters didn't do their job. I, I've said this before, but I really don't understand how... We've got, like... Four laser turrets, two holmium accumulators, max output five ten megawatt. That's probably that's probably the pr problem. Hmm. It's still kind of ridiculous. Okay, so look at how often the lasers are having to fire. Right, each one costs four megawatt when it's firing. Um, we can keep up with that with the... Sp what the... We can keep up with that with the spikiest spikes, um, with the excess of power production that we've got with the condenser turbines. I don't think it even e ever dips into the accumulators. But once... once we lose heat... Uh, what's supposed to happen is, once we get down to 75% charge on the accumulators, the inserters trigger um, to swap out used-up uranium fuel cell, and therefore these two will put in uranium fuel cell. What I think is happening is, because between these two holmium accumulators, we've only got an output of 10 megawatt, if three laser turrets or more are firing continuously because laser turrets are just suicidally high priority um, for the power network and there's nothing we can do about that it's literally we, we would need a constant flow of asteroids in the moment when we need to and when I say moment I mean several seconds at least um, we're basically putting all 10 megawatt from the accumulators into lasers continuously. It's hard prioritizing it, and we're sending literally nothing to the inserters. And, and these guys just won't stop. Um, so because we can't spare, like, 
800, 1200 watts for one second. That's what we need. 1200 watts for one second, or probably a little bit less than that. 302 degrees per second. Uh, 1.68 swings per second. Yeah, less than a second. There it goes. Just It just swapped it over. We need 1200 watts for less than a second um, before the accumulators go from 75% down to 0% out of 100 megajoules. So 75 megajoules. Um, but the laser turrets decide to consume all of it instead because they can see some asteroids for a little while. Bruh. Anyway, I think we're here. Board Ion Hauler 13. I'll be happy to see the back of this design of ship, honestly. Um, I guess if I had... Let's see, 4, 8... Yeah, if I had twice as many accumulators, this wouldn't be a thing. Simple as that. Um, and we need to go to construction ship, please. Before Foenestra. Was that number 16, or was it 13? I think it was 13, right? Yeah. Why do we have a dead construction bot here? Oh, it's just the graphic of it. Alright, off we go to Foenestra. And you change it to have two fuel cells in the reactor to prevent that. Well, we can't read the heat from the reactors. It has to get cold enough to start draining the accumulators for us to be able to tell that we need to put fuel in anyway. Unless we want to just constantly burn fuel um, and just waste it. That's another solution. And then you really wouldn't even need the accumulators. Since the steam turbines can handle the biggest power spikes. But, uh, yeah. Alright, what's our next target? Uh, I believe it was... Plato. Plato Orbit. Uh, looks like we're close enough to not go via Foenestra. Seems good. Budgie Bum, Polderer, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Sorry, I'd been a bit distracted earlier from the unrelenting psychological torture that is the local dog. Alright, so we should have our core fragments moving, uh, if not already, then quite soon. Core fragment consumption is what I'm looking for. Yeah, numbers go down. Let's see. Oof, owie, no barrel for a while. Four fragment Hormonite, Iridite. The Vulcanite went off a cliff. We need to fix it. Uh, we need to fix it really fast. God damn it. Can we not spend all day putting out fires? This is actually full. Wait, what? Oh. So. Vulcanite core fragments. Why is it not centered? Why 
Why is this a whitelist? What? What? Well, that's going to take a while to fix itself. Uh, but yeah, why why is Vulcanite not moving? Pagan oh, there's no liquid rocket fuel. That's what I was expecting. I just didn't notice. Shouldn't this one still be working? There's no path. How is there no path? They can go through here. Oh, wait, no, that still doesn't make sense. Wait, yes it does. I'm pretty sure it does. Is that all we need to do to get Vulcanite Core Fragments back? Uh, where are you trying to go to? That station. Okay, I need to get back down there. Four minutes twenty till we get back to Plato. Maybe I can do this with the local construction train. Um... Yuck. This should work. Get out of the way. Yeah, that might actually be all we need to fix all this right now. Don't forget this side, that's already done. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's go. Let's go very, very slowly. Not enough rocket fuel, indeed. Verpad, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And... All of our trains are moving. Fantastic. This guy, obviously... Well, there's not enough to trigger LTN. We can leave that for now. It's so slow. I'll just make sure they have a path out of here as well. If I just got rid of that signal, that would have been true as well. But I'm pretty sure they can go this way. No path. God damn it. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. And then... Leave? In the lower right quadrant, there's also a missing piece of track in the intersection northeast of the elevator. Northeast of the elevator. Huh? This bit? That's actually not a problem. Yeah, I think we're good now. Train bonk, indeed. Alright, that'll keep things functioning until we come back and finish the job. Where's our liquid rocket fuel? 36k and 70k. There should be a train coming to get it. There is. Wild train setup? Indeed. 
Good thing these weren't space train speeds. This is true. Okay, that's what I want to see. I'll go deliver, go forth and deliver liquid rocket fuel. To this train. Uh, they're all, these two are connected, so that should be fine. I probably could go ahead and connect all of them. Now it doesn't matter which drop-off is used. Why are we sending petroleum gas barrels? I think we stopped doing this. Yeah, we did. Which means this 80k liquid rocket fuel is just sitting there unused. Oh no, it's launch on cargo full. We're actually still using this? Probably not. Whatever the case, there goes our rockets again. Two of them. Actually, is it going to launch twice? These two are targeted at the same Vulcanite, Vulcanite core fragment drop-off. Fortunately, this one isn't filling up yet. I think this has to fill completely before it shares. That's fine. What mods are you running? Yes. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see them, or you can type mods in the chat. Exclamation mark mods. Quite a few, as it turns out. We are 12 seconds away from Plato orbit. Hopefully we can get it right this time. Nice, indeed. Right, we anchor. We remove... There's no construction bots here, right? There are, actually. Okay. We remove all the combinators. That part doesn't come from the blueprint. You know what? No, I'm going to copy it from somewhere else. It's fine. That's the whole point of this, is we're resetting it all. Making absolutely sure. Get rid of all the wires and stuff. I know I don't need to get rid of these wires, that's simple enough. Whoops. Okay. Let's try this again. And we need to set filter to the local pulmonite. For the storage chests. We need to set these two to core fragment pulmonite. That just tells us if the ship is here. I didn't mess around with the power poles. I don't think we have to worry about that. Probably. This needs to say CF Hulmanite. As does this. As does this. And this one. We don't need these. And... That's all fine for now. I'll have to come back and change a couple of things here. Now we need our local address for this one. This is Planet Orbit 689. 
Is that planet orbit? Yes. Six, eight. Six, eight, nine. Uh, I think we do go via phone. No, we don't go, go via phone Estra for this one. It's in the same system as Stromhurst, etc. So that part's all good. Um, this is our most recent outpost. I'm think I'm pretty sure 50 was the next available one, right? So this was 45. What was the most recent outpost we made besides this? Not too can. Fifty was next? Okay, cool. I'm pretty sure that's right. Then again, if I if I used this same number twice. If a ship was sent from Hagen orbit with both at the same time. No, that wouldn't explain why they got sent to different outposts with Holmium core fragments. If they somehow went back to Hagen orbit and then launched while they still had some Holmium core fragments left inside them, it might explain it, but I'm pretty sure we saw a ship going directly from Plato to Corsol back when we were setting this up. Arcavinus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm going to check these. Okay, so we've got 15, 20, 25, 40 is the highest. 30. Helmaya should be our first one, yes. 40 is the highest. 10. Uh, greater than 0, that's the one we just replaced. 35 and... 45. That's Bombato. Uh, I may have found out the reason why this messed up. Equals 50. Okay. And then... And then and then and then... Next... is 55. Well, that's probably why. It's kind of a relief to find a mistake like that. Because even if I haven't figured out exactly what, how that caused that behavior, that is most likely the cause of the problem. Alright, let's borrow this. And we don't need these. And then this has to be planet orbit 689. That's our local. So the timer stops if we detect our local uh, address on the memory cell back at Egan orbit. Pretty sure this is red and this is green. This needs to look for Holmanite core fragments, and then this goes up here. But I won't connect it until I'm finished with the rest of it. 55 will be the outpost you're working on now? No. Oh, as in... as in our, our first outpost that still uses the cargo rockets. Granus. Yeah, the Granus will be 55. Okay, um, moon orbit 1180, 
is the address to go straight back home. And we don't need the anomaly. And we need target to clamp Hormonite is 1 plus 14, 15 in total. 14 plus 1. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think we fixed it. We're gonna find out. Maybe I should put a little display here to show if, um... To show if a ship has been sent here recently. I mean, I can tell by the numbers. If T is negative 18k, it means a ship was just sent. Or that we just started this timer here. Because we just set it up. Red wire, green wire. Seems good. Alright, well that should work, let's hope. Now we need to go to... Whoa! Calm down. Oh, that might be... That's a place or two that I forgot some ghosts would be lingering. They try to place the scaffolding even though it can't be placed on these, uh... Floating rocks. Cool, cool, cool. How's our timer looking? Negative 9.4k. No, I think it has to get to positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T has to be positive before we request a ship. So it'll request a ship in like... Less than five minutes. Alright, uh, let's swing by Hagen Orbit. Display next Vulcanite first. Uh, indeed. Or a timer light indicator back at base to tell you when a signal is sent slash received. Indeed. What would I change if I were to start building a dispatch system like this again from scratch? Hmm. I probably would give in and just do generic drop-offs that deal with all types of core fragments. As much as that really has its downsides, we sort of ended up having to do that anyway for the very weird rare bug where the ships relaunch. Is space science really slow? Seems odd science hasn't started. Um, it wouldn't have started yet because we're looking for 10,000 rocket tech cards at a rate of 3.198 per second. That's what we actually ran out of. So any kind of exotic resources that are slow have had quite a while to catch up while we've been dragging our feet on this. Um, once we take 10k rocket tech cards upstairs... Um, where do they go? Over here? That's a good opportunity to update this bit, actually. That should ensure that the train can pick up all of them. Oh, isn't it a short train? To bring this up here? Yeah, it is. Wait, 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 wait. 200 times... 100. It's 20,000. We're actually making 20,000 rocket tech cards uh, before they get sent upstairs. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's taking a little while. We've got um, 13,000 approximately. 
it's going to be about 36 minutes before this thing goes upstairs and then science gets moving again. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And that confirms that uh, I didn't need this memory cell. This works without it. Let's bring a train over to take that errant combinator away. And can we replace our plastic build? No. Um, wait, what? Oh, there's no petroleum. Okay. Um, I kind of want you to consume the coal, though, so bring some petroleum. We'll move it around when we, when we update this build. Come to think of it, do I really need to get the coal out of here? No, no I don't. Absolutely not. Well, I would like to get the coal off the belts, but I can probably just shove it in here. But I can't really do that with a construction train. But it's just coal, I'm not that worried about it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's... why are those bots up there? Oh, those are not the, con the decon train spots. Let's park you over here. Wait for inactivity. And... Delete... It's already gone. Uh, delete all of this. They're not coming. Old power poles. Yucky. Hmm. Yeah, go on, get out of here. Probably better fix this before we have no plastic in important places. Let's place our blueprint. Just in case there's anything the train just picked up, it'll be helpful. Which I have my doubts. Oh, it, the train already left. Fair enough. Hmm. I think I'll have to... pump the old over this way. There's like none of it left actually. There's 2.1 petroleum there. That's not worth our time. I'll just decon that. Or I could be really pedantic and rescue it by deleting this and this once this has been placed. Let's grab our construction train. I think it's already carrying advanced chemical plants. Oh. That was really fast. Dropping off the petroleum. think we need to train them at this. Let's just ignore the train limit. Yeah, we'd actually disabled it anyway. Plastic. Apparently this never had a name. That's coming in kind of fast. 169 per second. 
How fast is it consuming the petroleum, I wonder? Only 1.28k every second. That was easier than I thought it I thought it would be. I should have done that sooner. Let's get some nice dark non ice scorching uh black plate over here. And go. Cheerio, baby mango. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Won't it be 20k with the weird loader holding an item malarkey? Uh, yeah, I think... I, I was thinking maybe the... You're talking about the rocket tech cards, right? I, I was thinking maybe by limiting this side, that would sort itself out. But it's only going to be short trains picking this up anyway, so I don't think we have to worry. About another 30 minutes till that's good to go. And we are 1 minute 16 away from Hagen Orbit. We need to swing by... You know, apparently we don't have any flat solar panel 2s. That's why I'm going by Hagen Orbit. Um, this is concerning. What are we missing? Holmium. Oh, no. Holmium ingots in space. That's not what I want to see. That's right, I was thinking of doing a redesign of this. But there's a lot of items to move to do that. If I use a space manufacturing, we can have items crisscross from uh, from any one of these containers to any one of these containers. Or, sorry, down this way. Which means we don't end up with a bunch of ingots here that are unable to supply holmium plate. Also, also... Uh, no, that is provide stack threshold 100. Carry on. But yeah, um... Well, let me just... It's five seconds till we land. I'll wait till that happens, then we'll jump into the editor. That's some good cable management under that console. Not. Alright, editor time. Why am I... Oh, that's right, I want to make sure I get rid of these. Just, just clear the whole thing. For the rail. Doesn't take that long. And then... Let's update this design a bit. We're going to use plating. Now the point is to have as many as possible, but realistically four blocks, uh, four resources to be dropped off as ingots by vanilla schedules, and to be picked up uh, as ingots by both LTN, or as both ingots and plate by LTN. And I just realized I maybe could have gone about this smarter. Here we've got vanilla drop-off, LTN pickup, LTN pickup. But I think what I could have done... is a station that is a drop-off for vanilla, but a pickup for LTN. Oh, I couldn't have done that with bulk rail. That's why. If I want to use inserters to get the job done, uh, that could certainly work. Hmm. 
No, I think this basic design is pretty much right. Um, maybe I could have this go to here, and this go down here, and we could save some space. But I suspect, I think I measured this out before, we might be able to use basically the same layout and still just manage to squeeze this in. And if we do, that's all it takes, actually. Easiest fix for the issue is to increase throughput. It's space, look out at the stars, not the wires wrapped around your feet. Console construction engineer. Personally, me, I think Hollow Knight is the most overrated indie game out. Oh no. Um. Okay, so this is. This is. Unloader. If this were fluids, the closeness of that would be a problem, but it's not. And then bulk rail loader. And then we would want this is these are as close as they can be. I'm pretty sure. One, two. Uh they're as close as they can They're as close as they can be without like felt like this. Maybe that's better, honestly. I think I considered this last time. Huh. We can't have as much belt throughput, though. Some things we kind of want, like, four. We want more throughput. Something to think about, though. Um, but yeah, if we have... That has to be down here, which means we're crossing over into the next one. And this is as close as it can be if we go this way. So what I'm going to try instead... Is like this. And then this goes... Close as it can get here. And then we have a corner coming from here. Oh, let me guess. We can't fit the signal here. That's the problem. Theoretically, there should be space there, but there just isn't a connection point. One, two, three, four. I could put this here, but then... Then we can't signal so that this train fits without blocking the roundabout. Because we can't do this on both sides either. Unless... Oh, oh it has to be on both sides. Bruh. We're unable to do this because for the dumbest reasons. No need to offer ingots to space LTN if they aren't needed. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a couple of things that consume ingots. I do deliver them to the mall in ingot form. Or some I used to, I don't know. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there's a couple of things that consume ingots directly. And I like to have the option. Naquium structural data consumes ingots. So there you go. Chromium ingot only goes into plate. Barrel only goes into plate. Hopper only goes into plate. Hmm. You know what? Now that I think of it, maybe it would have been better... It's not too late. I could always update this design, but uh, it probably would have been better to deliver copper ingots 
and convert them on the spot. We've got plenty of space. Uh, and that requires, obviously, way fewer trains to support our blank data card build. I'm very concerned that we're not... Oh. Oh, no. Really? What? What? You... What? What? You... Um... Okay, so both of these outputs merge to the same place. We have long trains only delivering copper plate and advanced circuit. The consumption rate for both is... the same relative to their stack size. This stacks to 100, this stacks to 200. We need three advanced circuits. Oh no, that's backward. We need, like, four times as many copper plates, stack size-wise. Nani? Oh, Yokoto. Basis loss. Well, that needs a fix. Uh, should we stop chasing squirrels for ten minutes? We're looking for... I think that's one and a half train loads of copper because that's the old cargo wagon sizes for two train loads. This one's not busted. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I probably should have considered using ingots. In fact, I should have used ingots for copper plate there. Steel only goes to plate. And iron only goes to... Oh, nope. Iron ingots also go to production science packs. Checkmate atheists. Squirrels are still forward motion? I know. Uh, I guess. Okay, well, okay, what if I work back from the conclusion of... I want this to fit on this side of the god damn it uh, maybe I should do like a combined pickup slash drop off but then I would have to have like I'd have to have a bunch of chests that we dump it into and then back into the train. Is the thing. You need a squirrel emoji? Probably. This thing is just slightly too big. For what I have in mind. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me copy-paste from this thing again. Because I think this might mostly be the shape that we need to copy. I could always... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait a minute. Is it actually that easy? Could it actually be that simple? And then we need... Space loader... That has to be a bit further away. And then we should have plenty of room to to have something like this here, right? Yeah. 
Is it really that easy? Pretty sure this has to be down here. Pretty much. So it was basically what I was talking about to begin with, but this part can't be up here. Simple as that. And can I put it down two tiles? I cannot. It, this is the only layout that works. Well, maybe this could go down here one more tile. One more pair of tiles, but it would look basically the same over here anyway. And it would just lengthen this part. That works too, indeed. Move crazy thought, move the top right, uh, top input right some, but also up some. So the other one could go left and down. I think I see what you mean. You could also, like, push this over here and push this over here, but they would, like, be able to block each other. Okay. So, this is where we drop off ingots. Um, I'm just going to steal for myself, because we've figured this all out before. That's going to be a vanilla drop off. Get rid of that. If there's anything in these containers, we're not going to summon our train. Because we've got quite a lot of storage here. Um, we're going to have superior inserters, just like this, and just like this. And that's going to be whichever ingot type. Let's go iron top left again. Why can't I find ingot? Wait, no, it's plate. We're making plate. Iron plate from iron ingot. So how fast is this with no help? 40 per second. How fast is it? with tier 6 speed modules. 13,000... 13 times power consumption for 26 megawatt. But that is 208 plate per second. Hmm. Which is faster than four white belts. That seems fine. Or I could, of course, use a beacon. I think we have compact beacons, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made, like, two of them. There's literally two here right now. I can't remember where I built two of them. I think it was... something like this. Where did I put those compact beacons? Wasn't it for one of the new builds where we need to convert ingots to plate rapidly? Did I not actually build it? Oh, are you kidding? No, wait, here it is. Yeah, we got some compact beacons going on over here. Cool, so we know we have those. Um, compact beacon gives us all the benefits of a wide area beacon. For more, oh, for fewer modules, actually. It's got better distribution efficiency. Except, okay, if I do this four times, let's remove everything that we can't flip. Let's just remove the stations entirely. If I do this four times... Blueprint... Space Manufactory... 
Okay. And then like a this. Like this. And like this, I guess. No, it was actually up here. You know what? That signal thing should be over here. Which makes me want to put this here for the look of it. Does that still work? Yes, it does. Oh, and then this goes here. And this goes here. I'm not going to worry about... Actually, I am going to worry about the wiring at this point. And then we can just copy paste rotate and maybe we should just use one wide area beacon oh it can reach beautiful except for the fact that we have to move the lighted pylon substation that's unfortunate no, my perfect power poles. I like one for both sides of the stops. For the beacon. Yeah, 10 megawatt in space isn't that big of a deal anyway. Uh, so now we can go... Probably not going to worry about the high tier modules for this build. Not at this stage. Uh, efficiency threes and... That's plus four eighty percent power. Oh, this isn't powered, that's why. Minus eighty. Minus that, that's plus ninety. That's uh, exactly two megawatt. That's probably fine. Two to eight megawatt. Especially when this is consuming 10 all the time. is not big on the scale of building stuff in space. Now, I just wish I could make the power pole not look like that. But I guess that's as good as it's going to get. Now we remove the rest of the platforms. And then maybe edit it a little bit so it looks cool. Oh, I definitely want this bit to repeat down here. That's not quite right. Yeah, that'll do. And this part's kind of sketch. I think that can just stay like that. Simple as that. Um, I could pr probably not have a floating platform for this guy. I can just do this instead. Where's our plating? Make a 
diamond with two poles? I was considering that. So that just goes there. Easy. And I do like the way the floating platforms work with the... with the LTN stops. With the vanilla ones, a little bit less. There's no neat little diagonal. Maybe I should just put it in there. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually looks kind of better. That does not. Okay, I kind of like that. Wait, what? None? We don't need plating under the power pole. Why is for the top right station? I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Oh, I can't remove that while this is here, even though it doesn't need it. See how that looks. Actually, I definitely like that better, even if it's a bit redundant. Cool, cool, cool. Top pair of LTN stations, bottom station has the wrong plating pattern. Plating pattern? What do you mean by plating pattern? I haven't finished. I know there's stuff that needs to be done. Oh, that's what you mean by plating pattern. This is oddly therapeutic. Okay. I think that's it, except for like some default train stop settings. I'm just going to put iron here as an example. We're going to limit... Oh, we, we don't need this uh, belt, actually. On second thought, we could store more plate if we do it this way. Just limit the front. And should be the same thing for this. Don't care about a limit on these or these. Seems a good. All right, so we're gonna call this. I don't really have like a generic ingot indicator. I guess we could just use the iron one. But then a vanilla train is going to come here immediately. I could always not connect this until we're ready. That makes a lot of sense. Got an extra combinator on... Wait, no, it's going to have a train limit of zero. That's perfect. Perfection. Okay, that can just be iron ingot by default. And this is iron ingot provider.
Provide stack threshold 100. Don't need fluids. What is this? I just want four and one for the look of it. And then this was here, right? And that does go there, which means I messed up that other one. Yeah, I kind of like that better. Alright, alright, alright. I run... You got... Provider... Uh, and this is Iron Plate Provider. Of course. I run... Plate. Let's look at the station names. It's a little hard to follow, but I think that's right. Is there a purple thing over here? No, oh, I think we're good. Much better. Much better. Okay. Um, let's blueprint this thing. Bonk. Missing a green wire for LTN, right side second from the bottom. True, true. Got an extra combinator on the, on the bottom requester stop. Oh, I think I fixed that, yeah. And we're deliberately not connecting these because we don't want the thing to work the moment that we build it. Because we want to reconfigure it for a different type of ingot. But maybe put a little style around this guy. Actually, this was better. I like that. Cool. Ship it. Indeed. Looks good. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, ingot. I'm just going to put Naquim as well. Ingot. Uh, how about metal. LTN. No. Oh. Uh, vanilla to LTN ingots 2.0. Cool, cool, cool. Not like the iron ship, though. Ship it reliably? How dare you. Tiles included. Train stop names included. Snap to grid 86251. We don't have any cheat inputs or outputs to get rid of. And looks good. Now where does this go? What the storage block mark three? Oh, I thought this would be in its own like it. What did storage block mark three? What are you? Oh, that's for on the ground. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, vanilla to LTN ingots to play. This is 2.0. Alright, now for the task of swapping them out. Which is going to be a bit of an onerous one. You know what, before I do... Uh, I would like to update the 
blank data card build. So that A, it doesn't get this problem again, and B, we have the trains drop off ingots. Um, and we'll convert them to plate on the spot. How much more stack density do we get for the ingots instead? Copper plate stacks to 100, copper ingot gives us... 10 times as much, but the stack size is like 50, I'm guessing. Yeah, 50. So 500, it's 5 times. 5 times fewer copper trains if we convert on the spot. That's pretty good. Especially for such a high throughput build. Much now. Okay. Wherefore art thou blank data card build? Here it is. Oops. Why... Why is it missing... A bit of scaffolding here. Uh, where were we? Not there. Blank data cards. So instead of copper plate, we want ingots. That's the only change we're making here. And we're doing whatever we have to... Wait, what? This is like bottlenecked, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Uh, yeah, I didn't update the blueprint since I added beacons to it. Fair enough. Hmm. I think we can probably keep the same shape build if we end up upgrading it. Putting more modules in, we'll just give it deep space build. Don't really see the need to overhaul it again. Um, but that said... Yeah, no, this is... this version's correct. Hmm. Does this one not jam because of this? Well, let's grab it. Fill out some scaff. Just barely mute ourselves for a sneeze. Rocket science should be full by now. Uh, was that real time or game time? Yeah, it's a, ooh, it's very close. It's very, very close. 406, uh, 480 to go. Uh, approximately less than three minutes, probably. It's coming. Yeah, less than three minutes. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's delete this and paste this. Uh-oh. Space transport belt is in the way. Dare you. Harry Lemon Lad, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm just going to remove all of this and make sure that I'm bringing in this build, actually. That looks fine. Uh, but the difference is... Why doesn't this one jam if that other one does? 
That's strange. Is it the sheer volume of... No. I don't know. Okay, so with tier 3 modules, we're looking at... 91 copper plate per second. That is slightly more than two belts. Mildly annoying. But more to the point, if we fit this under the same beacon and we convert all the plate. 304 per second. That's more than I was expecting, <laughs> to be totally honest. Cool, cool, cool. Um, now where do we put this thing? Did he really? What? The other one may have jammed if the card things from the bottom side weren't even. No idea how that could happen though. Yeah, they would just saturate because they rely on a different supply and then they just they just go to both of them it's because of this input whereby this one's doing basically the same thing it's just thicker instead of a half belt of each it's two belts of each very strange not that it matters but we're doing red circuits in the middle if I want to Copy that, which I probably don't. We could probably more easily... Put this, like, here. And can we be a bit more consistent over here? Uh, evidently not. No, that's what I want. Okay. So, we can obviously... Oops. That's never going to look quite right, is it? If we're merging and splitting the copper, which we are now, then it shouldn't matter if we drop the red circuits off directly. That's only 22 per second. I think the four belts were measured for high tier modules, perhaps. We can probably just leave that as it is. So, advanced circuits, and over here please. And this one's copper ingot. Cool. And then get rid of the extra plating. We're going to be pasting this on top of the other build, so that's probably fine. Doesn't the other build have, like, unnecessary plating over here? We should be able to just... Oh, I need to update this. Um, Advanced circuit... 32k is, like, not quite two train loads. Probably just leave that as it is. Copper ingot, uh, 100, 100 is two train loads. And how fast do we go through ingots? 91 plate per second, and this can do 304, so it's actually, like, a bit under a third of this, like 10 ingots per second, which is a fifth of a stack. 
It's quite slow. Yeah, much better. Alright, we should be able to just copy paste this. For this build, at least. Once I get rid of those other belts. Do this just to make sure. Need some more scaffolding. Down we go. And up here as well, please, because I want to add some more and move this around. Those are all in the same place, right? Good, good, good. Test in production, YOLO? Yes. I mean, it's a pretty simple, pretty simple thing, this one. And we should be able to just put that there. Oh, we actually had enough belt. Just from picking this up. Because it uses less belt. Cool. Uh, I need to get rid of the copper first. No. It's probably fine. I think there's enough space. Actually. Now we want the same plating arrangement. Up here. And there's a bunch of belt over here that's a problem. And also, whatever this is. That looks about right. Where's our construction train? Do I have any big old manufactories? I should, but we're not loading... Oh no, we're still waiting on the flat solar panels. Oh no! Hold me in plate, wherefore art thou? It seems a bit ironic, considering all of those spaceships that were messed up were bringing us holmium let me just borrow one of these trains we're gonna wait till inactivity and then we're gonna drop off up here And the nice thing, or one of the nice things about LTN here is it'll just reset its schedule once it gets back to the depot. Why does it not show me the contents of that cargo wagon? Oh, it's almost full. Okay, so an almost full trainload of Holmium plate. Uh, gives us how many flat solars? It's only four for one. And it's one to one over here. And it stacks to a hundred, right? Uh, so 2,500 with a stack size of 20. That would be 25 per... S yeah, we can fill a train with this, I think. Depends on how much was missing, but we should get a trainload of flat solar panels from that. Now how's our actual Holmium production going? Why is this not moving? At all? Really? After I just sent, like, Way too many... Why does this tell me about navigation satellites? 
Full midnight. There we go. Consumption of four fragments. It has been happening. Did I just miss it? just looked at the graph. Holmium core fragments. Consumption. There was a little spike two minutes ago. It's basically been dead for 21 minutes. But why? Are our spaceships okay? Well, this one's not. 26 hours to get home. Where is it? Iron Hauler 13. It's between the stars. There's no power. Lovely. This is, the, this is one of the same ships that we just rescued. These guys are at Hagen Orbit. Wait, do we have Holmium Core Fragments here? No, no we don't. Did I... Did I get the new outpost going again? Plato. Did I, like, forget to switch this on or something? No? It looks like it's working. We are positive on... Signal count now. Uh, on, on the timer. 94k. It's counted 94,000 ticks. That is 26 minutes of not having a ship dispatched to this location to pick up Holmium. Um... Um, did all the ships run out of fuel? No. They, they can't launch without lots of fuel. How many of them are waiting? Why, why do we have like 10 waiting at Hagen Orbit? <sighs> Let me guess. It's the ones that I queued up to land. These have Holmanite. Fifteen... Sixteen. Did I set that wrong? Target clamp ID. I did. There's a... There's a... There's a... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let me do double check Play-Doh again. Because I po... Uh, because I pulsed fifteen onto the memory cell. So we're pulsing 14 onto the memory cell, plus 1 for the default. Gives us 15, that's why. We've probably got a lot of Holmanite waiting to be dropped off here. This guy's already here. So is this guy... That is Core Fragment Erudite, which is currently occupied. This probably is working, actually. Erudite is actually 15, or 16, rather. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Erudite is 16. 
So the Holmian core fragments have been waiting their turn to drop off at the Iridite drop-off. Which probably means... Oh, 156,000 Holmanite core fragments in the mall. Cool, cool, cool. Um, well, first of all, we need to do this. And Aziz light. Aziz light indeed. Now if I do nothing else but schedule this to take core fragments downstairs like I did yesterday, it will sort itself out eventually. But we can probably do a bit better than that. Um so we're gonna wait for ore full cargo. And this one's gonna be ore empty cargo. So it's going to cycle when, if it gets more fragments. Um, okay. So probably like seven of these are waiting to drop off Holmanite. Hmm. I could turn off... That's a bad idea. I wish I had an easy way to adjust this number by one, but I don't. I could force a landing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll just keep forcing landings. Because as soon as... If there's more than, what, 20k core fragments left in these blue chests, the next ship won't land. Which allows us, among other things, it helps prevent that rare bug. But, um, it also helps us to manually drop off our ships. As soon as this thing launches, I'll grab the next one. Two wagons? Yeah, I probably should. Probably should. In which case, this goes up here. What requester is that? Oh no, this was for the wagon. When's our train coming back? Not yet. Okay. Are you just about empty? Fantastic. And it is ready to launch. And it's about to launch. That didn't take long. Nor would I expect it to. Alright, next one. That's Iridite. That's Holmanite. We may land. How many more do we have? One, that's number 15. Two, that's number 12. Not three. Not four, just two. 15 and 12. Cool, cool, cool. final phase of unloading. Why don't you get those last core fragments? Hmm. Maybe I should have had supercharges here. And 
launch. And just one more. Here's our train. Uh, I think if I pick this up, it'll keep all of its stuff. All of its uh, grid stuff. Yeah, there we go. Just need to give it some fuel again. And... Set this thing to automatic? Whoa. That's fine, I guess. This is fine. What am I doing? Oh yeah, we were trying to fix those builds. Um, where's our construction train? And I should probably just stop having it ask for flat solar panels for the moment. Oknos? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Are we loaded? No, we don't have efficiency threes. Um... Let's just not worry about them for the moment. Please park over here. In fact, we don't even need any. Oh, I should have rode it. Because I want to pick up the copper plate. It's not a very long flight. Speaking of not very long, what happened to our rocket testing packs? Oh, here they are. So why aren't we delivering them? Or did we already do that? But I thought that was our bottleneck. Yeah, well, there's no rocket testing packs here. Rocket rocket tech card, rather. 10,000. Request stack threshold of 1. Oh, let me guess. Let me guess. We've got, like, just under 100 stacks. Why does it have a provide stack threshold of 120? Uh, but yeah, because of this thing. We've actually got less than 100 stacks of... We need literally 24 more rocket tech cards to trigger this delivery. Rather than change that, I'm just going to send these up. There's a lot more of them there than I was actually expecting. Oh, well, that should be science happening in a minute. Let's go fix blank data cards. And actually this is working. Wait, this one's not working because we don't have red circuits here. We can fix that. Now give me that copper. That's quite a bit of copper. Um, how much empty space is in this guy? It's right next to me. Quite a bit. There we go. Oh, and this side already has no copper plate. Perfect. And... You may go. Probably going to have a similar problem over here. Why don't I just shove it into these machines? Because they can't fit that much. How much output can this hold? A hundred. Okay. I'm going to need a hand again. I did say a bunch of core fragments would end up at the space mall earlier, but not at the scale. I was not expecting them at this scale. Takes a little while to load 10,000 items. Oh, especially at 45 per second. Ouchie. 
You know what? Uh, we're never ever gonna... We're never ever gonna pick up rocket tech cards with a long train. We can just let all of that flow to the front. Or at least, I'll just limit it to a cargo wagon. Check on Gibby? As in, oh, Gibby, rather. Seafercat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's the stream today? Are we full for... Oh, I remember. Dropping off raw MSI. We, we're using a... Suboptimal approach for that. Um, why don't I use the coal drop off? No, for that one. You e build. We're gonna we're gonna be borrowing a different. In fact. Yeah, why don't I use... Why don't I change this to... Raw Emersite? Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that station name can stay the same. It's fine. Soulburn, welcome in. Zone Discovery 184, indeed. There's coal in the loaders. Uh, so there is. So there is. Hmm. Hmm. Destruction train up over here. Wait for me. Um... And then active provider filter inserter. Oh. Oh, the construction train's already here, that's fine. And that'll sort itself out eventually. Probably should have given it faster faster inserters, but it's a one off. What did we find? An asteroid belt. Get out of here. Alright. Upper plate. Is this guy empty now? Or... What? Oh, I didn't send him back? Oh, he came back because... Because I didn't get that out of the schedule. What a good boy. Alright, come over here, please. Have some copper, have some copper. So we just upgraded this to take copper ingots instead of copper plate. Because, well, two reasons. It's five times fewer train deliveries for a very high throughput build. We, uh, we have plenty of space to convert it here, obviously. Um, but also... Uh, also, it kind of rebalances this thing. Oh. Well, that'll fix it. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. It'll sort itself out. But yeah, we had a problem with this one uh, getting imbalanced with copper on one side and advanced circuits on the other side. So the fact that we're basically merging and splitting copper means we don't have to do it for red circuits. And it also saves us a ton of green deliveries. 
80% of them, to be precise. This copper plate on your red card belt. Yes, I saw it. How long until a bot beats Factorio? Hmm. Good question. You could probably do it with some kind of neural net, right? It'd be a lot of, uh... It would be a lot easier if it had robot networks for it to figure things out, right? It's going to be really, really slow randomly finding things that work in the beginning with belts and stuff. Alright, did we update both of these? Looks good to me. Fantastic. And I wanted to update these blocks so that we have one big space manufactory between these machines. Uh, between these containers instead of this to this. But we're going to have to move a whole lot of resources temporarily to make that work. We'll just have to put down a bunch of chests, I guess. There's only two blocks that we need to update with this so far, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, what's this guy complaining about? There we go. Oh yeah, spaceship. Wow, there's still a lot of them. Uh, any trying to drop off Holmium... ...that have the wrong ID. Fifteen. I think it was just 12 and 15 that were left, but maybe some more arrived in the meantime. This is number 12. Oh, it can't land yet. No, yes it can. Probably. Have some Hormonite. And 11. And... Cool, I think that's it. I think we fixed it. I'm not happy with the number of idle ships that we've got waiting for their turn to drop something off right now. Solovex, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. RF Holloway, good to see you again. There are tool-assisted speedruns. That makes sense. Also some self-replicating factories. Oh yeah, I've heard of those. How professional day, welcome in. Good to see you again. How long until a bot beats Factorio? Um the bots are taking out germs. Okay. So where are we now after fixing all of that? Oh, we've got... We've got Holmium. Oh, it's so beautiful. I didn't force that delivery. Thank goodness. No, that might have been the same one. Because we still don't have any... We still don't have any tier 2 solar panels in here. How long does this take? 1.3 per second. Uh, and we need... Oh. 25 and a half minutes. To make a whole train load of flat solar panel twos. That actually makes sense. 
Wait, do these not have a beacon? I see precisely zero beacons around here. Which normally is fine. Um, we're not normally playing catch up with our solar panels. As we get a big uh, dump of the resource that we're missing. Cool, cool, cool. Let's check our stats again. Uh, core fragments. Consumption. This one never changed because it wasn't dependent on spaceships. Beryl is back up. Plumonite is back up. Iridite is down to zero. Did we saturate Iridite? That doesn't sound right. No. Why are we not consuming iridite core fragments if I saw a bunch of ships trying to drop off iridite? Don't tell me they have the wrong ID or something as well. Is that why we've got so many here? Core fragment iridite. It is aiming for... Uh... 16. For... Uh, Target to target anchor to target left clamp. Where is it? That's correct. Don't tell me we're out of fuel or something, no? Why are we not ready to launch? Because there's a bot hovering? Why is there a bot hovering? It should be putting this in here. Bruh. Oh, don't tell me. Um, you know what? I think I need an unfiltered storage chest. But then... Okay, it's not going to take the core fragments or anything. We'll try it. That's how I've done it before, anyway. So the idea is anything that doesn't belong in this robot network gets brought to this requester chest. Um, Because we're doing set requests from... Is this it? Read logistic network contents. Um, but if we're doing filtered storages only... Then just an unfiltered storage chest should do the trick. Here comes our construction train. And now the ship is ready to launch. Brilliant. Beard Lestain, welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Didn't see that you had sword? Had sword? Veldek does indeed have sword. All right, I think uh, unless it causes some unforeseen problem, which I do, oh, whoa, 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 not in that one, not in that one. Yeah, I don't. I could just add a constant combinator to always request the... Yeah, 
empty uranium fuel cells. Thank goodness. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are these the same everywhere? Not quite. Uranium fuel cell. Uranium fuel cell. Used up, that is. Uranium fuel cell. Uranium fuel cell. Yeah, we had the exact same problem with a destroyed logistic bot that somehow got into this system. And I think we've got one up here somewhere. I don't know why a logistic bot ended up holding it like that, though. Probably because... Hmm. No? It must have taken the thing, gone to charge, and then the ship left, and therefore there was no report that there was any... Um... Uranium fuel cell used up in the robot network, therefore this request for it was gone, therefore the bot just hovered. I think that's probably the answer. And that's not too likely, so it took a long time to happen. Why do we not have fuel on this side of the train? What the... Why? Just why? Excuse me, can I borrow you for a second? Oh, did we empty it? No, we've got 138 plumium, plumonite core fragments here still. Let's go rescue our train. Which... Come to think of it, that makes complete sense. I just straight up forgot to... to supply it. When I made the new, uh, construction train loader. Just took a long time to get here. Has run stable the last 20 minutes. 5.1k SPM, 60 UPS. Nice. And we are here. And you may have some fuel. And... Cairo. And you also may go home. Wait, it's on the other side. Wait, 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 wait. It's empty on this side as well? That's not right. It's not out of fuel. This is a lie. Or do I have to pick up the discharged power packs? There, There's your problem. Oh, I used that with the... I did that with the nav set. They're on the ground or something, aren't they? Where? Oh no. Item on ground. No? Where did they go? Did I put them in my inventory? Discharge power pack. I... What, did they just disappear? What happened? Wherefore did those discharged power packs just go? Apparently there is a... Where is this?
There is a item on the ground over here. There we go. Your bots picked them up? Okay, perfect. Very sneaky, but very helpful. Alright, we are continuing to make... solar panels. And that was the whole reason we didn't go to Brennus Orbit for a while. So we should have them in here. Fantastic. Let's get back there. Orbit. Orbit. Away we go. It's a wonder the construction ship never manages to run out of power. It's got more turrets with only two... Oh, it's got more condenser turbines, that's why. Never would have had that problem if my, uh... If my ion haulers looked like this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Lots of being a bit slow here. Two minutes till we get to Granus Orbit, then we can continue updating this thing. Finally finish this. It's probably only like 30. It's 200. 200 flat solar panels to finish this part. And then we can... We probably could have just ignored it this whole time. Um, that is a huge chunk of the planet for solar panels down here. E old solar panels. But, yeah, we can go down and... Technically, I could use the rail system that's already there to get the core fragments, but I don't want to. I want to clean this mess up. I want to leave as small a footprint as possible. In a number of ways. So first of all, we'll probably be needing the usual um, the usual rail on the left side of the space elevator, and I'm thinking. Where should I put the loader? Why are they all rotated? There we go. Maybe something like this? That looks good. Still need to design energy data cards, and then it will be testing time. Nice. Hidges, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so that can just go straight there. And... we have rail go up like this. And back like this. Alternatively... Just to be consistent with the look of these things, I could do this. Easy enough. And we'll 
be wanting a lighted pylon right here. Alright, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Fantastic. Grab those solar panels. Should be way more than we need now that I think of it, because we're close to the sun here. Plus 1000%. Can we get some accumulators? Which are pretty much just there to deal with the trains going through the space elevator. Very narrow spikes. And let's get this thing started. Give me some rail. Actually, I'm going to be picking up rail all the time. Give me a little bit of rail. And we'll make the trains when we're good and ready. Um, we need a bunch of blue belt. Let me just do this the easy way. There we go. We're going to need some... Actually, we don't need any core mining drills. Because they're all already placed. Uh, and we've already got plenty of panel and substations. Signals. Maybe use a few more. And vanilla train stops. And train loaders. There we go. Alright, down we go. I think I'll switch off this station, Oops. which I probably could have done before, that would have been a lot easier. Wait for this train to finish dropping off. This part's already not in use. So we can do some rail coming out this way. Let me click the right thing. View opposite end. Copy paste. This will be our... That's longer than I realized. I, I was expecting it to be longer than this, but still... I'm going to have to cut off the entire oil supply from the rail network to get started with this thing properly. Turn off this combinator. No, we're still bringing in a bunch of coal here that we're not using. Coal, coal, coal. Let me just check on our uh, full fragment processing now. Over the last hour. Vitamelange is up. Formanite is way up. Cryonite never changed. Feral is functioning. Stone... I, I seriously doubt we're having stone issues. Um, as in the core fragments. That was never a thing. Iridite is back up, and copper is steady as always. Because it's just got that one ship that delivers it.
Alright, we can finally get rid of this. But I don't want to waste what we've already got. Need some power over here. I might take a little break at now, actually. My voice needs a little bit of a rest. Let me just fix this up first. We have gone through more than half the stream already. this. Then we can use Picket Dollies, not Picket Dollies, uh, even Distro, to push them all from here to here. Oh. And again. over here. Perfect fit. I'm going to need some signals here. Uh, probably not going to have anyone coming from this way back down. And up this way and back certainly. That should be fine. I can't actually fit a signal here for some reason. Is it like built into this? That looks like a signal. Didn't I usually use one extra space so I could have something like this? I like how that's a chain signal and they still rolled right over it actually. So it's probably fine. I can probably ignore it. And there's another drill right up here. Let's just start designing that like we're not having to deconstruct a million things on this planet. This whole block doesn't really need anything. Alright. Be gone. Be gone. Why did I hear a crafting noise? So how am I going to do this one? Probably left turn and put a drill here-ish. Well, not a drill, the pickup station for the drill. Hmm, that is slightly uncomfortable. Let's go for back right. This is going to go here. My inventory is screaming at me. Why do I have a bunch of space platform scaffold? Um, 
going to drop some stuff off. I don't need this many blue belt on my person. It's not that critical. Let's drop off all the tier 3 mods for the moment. Don't know why I have all these still. Don't need any inserters for this. Or old power poles. Or baby power poles. Or red. I'm going to bring all this back to Hagen Orbit eventually anyway, so we can drop some scaffolding in here. Okay. Oh, those bots are belonging to the train, I think? No? This robot network? No? I think they got separated from it. Yeah, we had a, a big old robot network around here because cargo rockets, uh, cargo rockets love to crash. And they cover a ridiculously large area where all of their stuff might land. No, that's still not... That's still not returning the bots. What the hell? Guess I'll have to pick them up manually. Probably means I have to decon this. I'm down here. And over here. Is that all of them? I think so. All right. No more robot network over here, please. We want power pole. Uh, how about up this way? Can basically go as far as I like. I think I'll just put it here. No storage room? There is, I checked. Uh, yeah, there's some. Plenty of storage room up here, actually. Alright. Is this thing on? It is. Fantastic. Let's grab these and... Even distro into here. And then we can remove all this. Spot's coming over to take this, isn't there? This is quite the task, but it will be most refreshing once this old outpost is gone. We've still got enough stuff in place that we'll be sending cargo rockets back with the liquid rocket fuel, right? Nope, we're already out of light oil. Fine, I'll switch this back on. It's 
since I want to take a little break soon. We can at least clear out all of this. Here's our next drill. Let me go get that part up there first. I, mean, I don't have to remember it. Oh, the bots are misbehaving. I think they're out of energy now. Get back in here. There we go. Don't need to explode these cliffs, probably. Shove that in a box for now. Two boxes, I suppose. Okay, so where are we going? Probably straight over this way. here, perhaps? Yep, definitely. There we go. Where am I? And why didn't this get placed? Because there's a constant combinator in the way. Power poles. And straight up. And we're like five tiles off that, reaching everything. Rip. And then limit these chests to nothing. Use even distribution. And fill those containers. Why are we missing more rail here? There's actually like nothing else over this way, unless we want to go up like that. We'll see. Taking this sweet time. I think there's no st ah yes. Uh Zedius, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Should we do some more research? Now that we've got our rocket tech cards back. should be active. Seems good. Perfect. Hmm. I wonder how bottlenecked we've been on liquid rocket fuel. 
We've got two drills attached so far. That's uh, four core fragments per second. How many have we been consuming? Vulcanite core fragment consumption. 2.1k per minute is 35 per second. So if we can get to like 36, 37 per second on uh, linked to the space elevator, we can switch this stuff off with confidence. Got our work cut out for us, though. I think I'll steal some of the rail that is already here for these two. I'll have... Rail go down this way. It's a lot of red undergrounds. Get out of here. And get out of here. And then we'll have a little corner here. Perhaps. It's going to be one way. This is going to be two way. percent on zone discovery I don't particularly want my base to crash because we don't have vulcanite I'm pretty sure we do have ludicrous storage of um, in particular pyroflux Especially because Pyroflux gets consumed quite slowly. We've got 800,000 here. Um, and... Where was it? The new glass build. Max rate is 45 Pyroflux per second. So I don't think we need to be too, too worried. But the moment I disconnect that liquid rocket fuel, uh, the oil builds from sending cargo rockets back, we're on a timer before we run into some serious problems. Because we have made our base dependent um, on the Vulcanite core fragments. We are addicts in need of a fix. Now, can I fit one of these comfortably here? That would be a yes. Very comfortably. Can actually hold all of these already. Old power poles be gone. power poles mm. and I want this to go down this way I can just do it on this side at least temporarily Is that actually max dist? It is. Beautiful. A 
that's not gonna work. That is gonna work, actually. Cool. Good enough. Be gone, ye old powerpoles. And away we go over this way. We can probably do that quite a bit faster. As long as all the bots jump out. Doop -a doop. Sargus Asteroid Belt 2. Not interested. Big lad, one leg. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, how should I angle this one? Just like that. Now we should do front left. Or front right, rather. Can we squeeze that in there? And... Hmm. I think it'll work. It'll just look a bit wonky. When the train... When the back cargo wagon is loading up. It does seem to indicate it would be straight, actually. Nah, I still don't like this. No, not that one. Ah, oh, god damn it. It's fine. You could just put this behind right. No big deal. And... Even Distro. And Power Pulse. Don't tell me we're one off all of that touching. No, there's a combinator down here anyway. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get this one started. And wherefore is our wire disconnection? Way back here. Ouch. So we're going to be going from 500 stacks per cargo rocket to, uh... Well, what's 500 times 20? 10k, uh... Core fragments, not counting the ones we lose. To, like, 83,000, I think it was. The Mark 1 spaceships bring in. Of course, they do have to travel for a few minutes, but that's fine. I think this is it. I think I'd like to stop processing the oil here now. So we can get rid of this side. And probably the water is fine. It's already not powered. Kind of need to get rid of all this. To have our stackers over here and then bring them back this way. Ooh, how far does the stacker reach? Hmm. 
over to here, which is going to be over to here. Yeah, that's going to line up pretty well. Let's go sort that one out while we wait for this oil to run out. I could probably start uh, econing all these solar panels as well. The inventory is going to be full though in no time at all. How many do we have here? Let's see. Okay. 12. There's also a bunch of stuff in here. I was kind of expecting some chests like this. 12,000 plus 6,000. Uh, 360 stacks. That's going to be fun to remove. At least it's fairly close to the mall. Maybe I should point an energy beam at it. Add a signal back here. And this one's fairly empty. Econ all of that. Grab our new blueprints. Uh, I want front right. No, front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Front left. Front right. What do we find? A moon called Clotho. Or Clotho. Are you super close to Hagen orbit? Nope. I think we can skip that one. Um, and then we're gonna want probably this to just go this way. Depends where our other drills are gonna be. I want to have the smallest amount of rail possible, so actually get rid of that. And this will go back here. Probably... That's uh, fine, whatever. Let's even distro these again. Oh. And where's our power pole gonna go? Of course that rail would be in the way. Taking its sweet time consuming all of this, actually. We have zero modules here. This was literally our first outpost, after all. I could give them some speed sixes. We can afford it now, actually. We're pumping power down from the space elevator. Yeah, we're totally fine. Do I have any wide area beacons? I do. Let's 
a space left intentionally empty. Um, keep some of those back, I guess. Fantastic. That'll get it processed relatively quickly. Oh, that's not even the block that has been bothering me. Uh, give these back. As long as I have enough for... I only have one more freaking beacon here now. God damn it. Well, I think I'll remove this one and bring it up here. There we go. I want this block gone as soon as possible. But I don't really want to waste any of this. Especially while it's maintaining... Vulcanite core fragments being sent back to base. Alright. Oh, I already disconnected all those power poles. That's fine, I guess. I don't need any of this. this to... Oh, we're almost done processing the oil. That was kind of fast. It's going through about a hundred a second. Nice, nice, nice. 3.7, 3.6, 3 3.5 thousand. And once we force a delivery to get rid of the last of the light oil, I don't really care about the rest. It's not like I'm going to push all this petroleum back to Hagen. Need some pumps, I think. There it goes. Alright, be gone, ye old station. Are we still cracking? Uh, kinda. There's no water, I just deleted it. Whoops. Low power? Oh, so it is. What if I delete the light oil in this order? Push it all into the next container. We found another moon, it's called Gapleon. And then the last 70,000 uh, can be pushed through here at almost 2k per second for now. Mr. Dane, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I'll welcome in also. Alright, I'm going to take a little break. Right after we look at this moon. Uh, what was it called? Gapleon. It is way too far away to consider. Well, let's do some words on stream. Let's go here. 
And Veldek goes yay. And I'm gonna get a little bite to eat, etc. I'm back a bit refreshed. That welcome welcome got stuck in my head. Indeed. Good, good. Um, Alright, we'll do words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. All right, let's continue, shall we? Oh, let me get the fan on me. That's better. Okay. Uh, so I think we're ready to get rid of this. Let's set the provide threshold on this thing really low. So the train will take away the last of it. And yoink. And where does our... Where do our train stops fit in all of this? We don't need the roundabout, do we? Be gone. Bonk? Oh, words on stream. And disappear. Fantastic. Oh, did I not stop words on stream? Oh, no. Okay, tell you what. One more round, but I'm going to keep playing. Good luck. Doop -a doop We got Roof, roof Trellon. It is too far away. It's pretty big for a moon barrel. But yeah, we won't be going after that. And... I basically just need to keep these straight rails for a while. But I'm hoping I can fit this. Yeah, we can. Cool, cool, cool. Let's just put this here for the moment. Close enough. And that looks like the end of, end of words on stream. Nicely done. Hurry up and let me switch off the auto. There we go. Autopilot. Okay. I kind of want to take a little break from... from this particular project, but... I really don't want to leave it half finished. We need to have at least some flow of vulcanite uh, going back to Hagen. Let's make a train. If we have room for it. We need two of these, four of these, and ten of these like six of these and 14 of these. Let's make some landfill. And I'll take some fuel to get it started as well. Wait. Oh, I haven't gotten the charges started yet. Let's grab ourselves empty batteries. The power packs, that is. There we go. Now then. I think I have a blueprint for this lying around somewhere. Here it is. Probably. Yep, we just need to change this to Grannis. Granus down, Granus up. Place Stromhurst. Give it some fuel. Give it some upgrades. And give it some fuel. 
Fantastic. We need to make two more of these, but right now it's not really the time. Wait, this guy can fit here, right? Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, we can probably schedule him. To wait for some coal mining. Oh, he's already at it. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. So that's our first core fragments going up the elevator at Granis. Did I put Logi Pots in? I did. Fantastic. I haven't configured it yet. Let's go do that. Even though we're going to need a lot more core fragments before it triggers a delivery. Set this one to central dispatch. This one is central clock. We need one of these down here. That needs to be set to Vulcanite Core Fragment. Uh, what's our address? Grannis Orbit. Planet? It's a planet? Wait, what? I didn't know Radius 2000 could be a planet. Huh. I thought, in this game anyway, up to a certain radius was a moon. But yeah, no, I mean, there's nothing... That it's, like, orbiting around. I suppose so. Hmm. I wonder if that affects how many core fragments we get. Like, it's denser. Or something. Alright, but we are looking at Planet Orbit 1168. 1168. Planet Orbit. We're not going by Foenestra. And it's Vulcanite Core Fragments. Oh. And I can just remove that and put it back. Reset the timer. That can go here. Speedrun challenge. Set all of these correctly before five minutes. Doop -a doop we found another moon. On on Oneros, I guess. Let me let me start from the top like I usually do. Just so that I'm less likely to make a mistake. We need a filter of Vulcanite core fragment for all of these storage chests. And there's no other storage chest with, like, a generic, with no filter. That's how we can have, like, a sort of a requester before we have a buffer chest. Need to request Vulcanite Core Fragments. We need to go back to Moon Orbit 1180, which is Hagen Orbit. Uh, Vulcanite Core Fragment? I think that's like number one or something. Oh, no it isn't. Which one's Vulcanite Core Fragment? It's actually 11. So this is going to add 10 to the default of 1. 10, 9, and 1. That gets added to the memory cell when you get a target left line becomes 10. And then uh, that's all set, I think. These are all generic, don't need to change anything. I think I already did this, but we'll do it anyway. Vulcanite, Vulcanite, and furthermore, Vulcanite. That looks good. And I think we're done. 
Do I have a Vulcanite Core Fragment drop-off? No, of course not. Where does it go? Here. I need to do some copy-paste edit for the drop-offs. Pretty sure this one's all up to date. Let's blueprint it so that we can include the tiles. Um... We're going to jump into the editor, delete all of this. Delete all of this. Place that. And... I don't actually have access to the Navsat blueprints from here. So let's drop this in here. Cannot build on empty space, you say. Right, so that's going to be a Vulcanite. Core Fragment. Not this one. Then none of this needs to change. Pretty sure we might need to seed the logi bots, or at least one logi bot, to get the whole thing started. So I'll still probably have to go back there. Um, this is going to be set to Vulcanite. Vulcanite core fragments. That doesn't change. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's everything that we need to do here. And this is Vulcanite. Station name is. Whoops. Whoop. What the. What? No. Was that always up there? That doesn't feel right. Vulcanite core fragment in the station name. And that should be everything. I guess I could have done that on the fly because there's no way trains would have delivered the wrong thing. They deliver the same set of things uh, to all of the... to all of these outposts. Well, not outposts. All of these landers slash launches. Um, but yeah, let's blueprint that. And include tiles and train stop names. Don't snap to grid. Causes weird things with these. And then back to hate and orbit. That goes right about here. Now we'll grab our scaffolding frame, but not before I replace that. And that. Doop a doop again. It's another asteroid belt. I feel like we've got a little bit asteroid belts left to find at this point. And we'll bring our construction train over here. Or maybe here. Now, I don't want to be in the way of this high traffic up and down. Now, let's park this way. And our scaffolding train should be arriving right about now. And then we just grab this thing again. 
wait for the scaffolding to be placed. Taking a little longer than I thought it would. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. The train tried to place the clamp before it could be supported. Oh, do we actually need more plating? We shouldn't. Oh, I think the bots are just being weird. Which means I now need to... potentially tell this guy not to leave. Even though I set it to 15 seconds of inactivity. It's a little bit annoying. Do we have, like, bots trailing behind this guy or something? Doesn't look like it. Why are the robots not jumping out? Stop. That should not have taken that long. Okay, I, I guess... I, I guess I'll just send the scaffolding train back to try this again. And we'll just sit patiently. 20 core fragments we got up here. 8,000. That makes sense. That's one train load. Alright. Be gone with all of this. Be gone with all of that. Don't think too hard about how much petroleum we're just deleting. And that's like 130 light oil. That's fine. Uh-oh. Okay. Econ those. And then this guy goes over here. That's max distance, right? Yep. This one can go here, and... I don't suppose that covers everything. Not even close. Let's turn those two into wide pylons. Are we not powered? Why are we not powered? Oh. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Don't need none of this. Actually, we kind of did. Uh, whoops. I want to get rid of this as soon as possible, but... I'm scared of disconnecting Vulcanite. How many drills do we have? on the whole planet, which we're probably going to stick with because it's by far the closest decent Vulcanite planet. Um, core drills... No, not all surfaces, no! Well, we're going to find out how many we have. Oh, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. 
Nalvis has four. Hagen has seven. Uh, Renus has 24, which is by far the most. Okay, it's not by far the most. It is definitely the most that we've got on any one surface. Um, but yeah. We've already got like one, two, three, four of them. Five, six. Yeah, we're a little bit closer to finishing this than we thought. Let's extend this one down here. Oh, I didn't check out Oneros, I think. Or did I? Oneros is too far away. Superius. Superius is also too far away. Cool, cool, cool. I'm still finding nothing but moons. Can I do some deep space zone discovery? It's a little bit more expensive, but that might be a bit more interesting. And we need to do it eventually. I'd definitely like to have all of the deep space zones discovered before I... before I make decisions about which ones I want to go to. Even if almost all of them are the same distance away because we've got Fo and Estra. Okay, how many core frags up here? Still only one train load. Takes about 12 train loads to trigger a delivery. A ship, that is. Actually, I think as soon as we get 10, uh, 1,000 more core fragments, it'll send a ship here. So we can confirm that that's working. Alright, um... Let's remove this mess. And shove what little we have here in a chest. Oh boy. The inventory is not happy with me. Um, that's a lot of pipes. Random belts. we go. Let's just mark this for decon and then we'll walk across it. So we're going to want this rail going straight down and that part right there is not needed. In fact, none of this is... And where do I want this? Probably front right. Just like that. Maybe I could have come up with some... No, not really. Can't really come up with other shapes for how these stations work if uh, if the train has to be in a straight line. And this is by far the neatest way to do the belts. Not a whole lot of room there, I think. So this is going to go down this way. And we're going to need some corner. I'm going to find some corner. Just like that. That thing's actually empty. We can get rid of that.
Alright, begin. Oh, and what about our build back on Hagen? Let me go point this guy at... What is this? That didn't take long, actually. And then we'll check on our build. This time we're ready. Fantastic. Bulk rail loader is in the way. Well, that's to be expected. And there's already a train scheduled. There's four trains scheduled, actually. Okay. That looks like it is ready to go. Except for the part where we have no logi bots. Or at least... Hmm. Let me do a little temp belt here. No, wait. No, no. Logi bot. Logi bot. No. I'll just push that back in. That's actually really easy. Apparently I made it so that short trains could use this as well. I just need literally one. Once the train drops off Logibots. Here it comes. So we can get that started. I need to set these to what exactly? Why did I leave room for Krynak Core Fragment? Because I wanted this to be all standardized, that's why. In order of the signals. Uh, this one is Central Dispatch. This one is... Vulcanite Core Fragment Dispatch. You can use the symbols in the names here, you just can't, there's just no way to type them directly. But you can copy paste them after using a train stop, name them that way. And this one is Ready Ships. Uh, and this, I believe, is Central Clock. Yes. Sending some other information on that channel. Namely, how many Vulcanite core fragments we've got back at base in this block. Looks like we got our robots moving. Much faster than I was kind of expecting. Oh, I guess that makes complete sense, actually. And I think it's... We're missing a couple of lamps, but they're purely cosmetic is what I would say, except this one is a connection point. Um, let's go... Two lamps. Precisely two lamps. And then set this one to inactivity. And that should all get done without paying attention to it. Except we got a hovering bot here. It's going to end up chasing the train back. The train's going to get loaded and come back and the bot's going to chase it back and forth and then it's going to do its thing here. The train's going to go back here, bot's going to go all the way back and then trigger a reset of the train stuff. But what are you going to do? Not design it to empty itself if it detects extra bots because that's the only way to make sure the bots are balanced? Nonsense. Boop -a -doop. We found Asteroidia. Nice name. Wherefore art thou Asteroidia? Pretty far away. Actually, are any of them close? There's Grape Shot. 
How far away is Grape Shot? It's 30,000. So it's still faster to go via Fo and Astro. We haven't found any, like, last time that were, like, right next door. So pretty much all of them we can compare on equal merit, um, just based on the resource. Uh, Asteroidia doesn't... Well, it has some decent Naquitite, perhaps. Let's have a look this way. Primary resource. I don't suppose any of them are ever going to say Naquitite. What do you got? Size 90%, richness 61%. Size 90%, richness 60%. Ooh. Spectre looks good. Oh, that's rare metals. No, I've been baited. Aquatite, 97%, 64%. That's actually slightly better. Um... 105, 67. That's our best one so far. 142, 84. Uh, getting better. Starred use winning by country mile so far. 142% size, 84% richness. Oh. I think we found our winner. Most likely. More than... 300% size, more than 100... Uh, actually, exactly 170% richness. Yeah, we're definitely going to bumper field with Naquitite. Can we mine it already, or do we need some tech? I need, like, four... Um, Astro... I need, like, four data cards. Uh, builds and another catalog build before I can make the deep space science pack ones. I think we need to unlock energy four before that as well. I should have been rating these on the priority system. Whoops. Ooh, three fifty four percent, one eighty percent. Hell yes. Okay, uh, so that was 354 size, 180 richness versus uh, bumper field, was it? 334, 170. Thirty-four, one seventy. Three fifty-four, one eighty. that's just better. Galactic Graveyard. That's where we're going for our Naquitite at this rate. Don't forget to look on the satellite, then travel to the left or right for 10 minutes to get massive patch sizes, indeed. Well, the asteroid fields are actually not just left and right, they're all directions. I think they're infinite, like uh, regular vanilla. Oh, this is unpowered. That's probably bad for now. Probably not a good thing. Since the whole reason I'm just... Uh, the whole reason I'm not just tearing this up in whatever order I please is because I want to keep the core fragments coming for a while. So where is bump uh, Galactic Graveyard rather? Not that it really matters, but Galactic Gravel. Close, but not quite. Galactic Graveyard. It's way up to the left. 
I guess we could start scanning it. Then again, that's just going to make the save long, uh, take longer. Ooh, water ice. It's only 13,000, but that can be convenient. Since we need to... Ooh, I just realized... Um, the way I'm going to power those outposts... The way I was doing it last time was energy beaming from a sun, which was surprisingly decent even at relatively long range, but this is really far from anything. Um, I guess we could do nuclear power or something. I still haven't played with fission power at all. Maybe I'll take a break from all of this, uh, just to design it. Alright, get rid of this. This goes here. Actually, that goes exactly here, right? And then this can go this way. And maybe a diagonal here. Hmm. That's pretty decent. It's not going to look particularly sloppy, I think. And we have the power. One, two, three, and... Fantastic. I need to fix those chests first. Oops. Perfect. And it's in landfill. Doop -a -doop. We found breadcrumbs. Uh, where is breadcrumbs, I wonder? Let's just look at Delta V from Hagen Orbit. Breadcrumbs. 96,000. Breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. There it is. What do you got for us, breadcrumbs? Um, 320% and 164%. That is like the third best one we've seen, I think. 334, 170. 320, 164. Cool. That is right up there. 260, 137. Oh, I wasn't even looking at frequency, is, a, is what I was just realizing. Frequency, 336%, wow. 350, 340. Yeah, it's about the same. Like, it, it seems to just be proportional to the size. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then... Let's get rid of... You know what? Let's get rid of all of this. I think we're just about ready to do that. aren't keeping up. So we're going to have the mirror image of this. Uh, 
Over here. Okay. And we'll probably go front left. Just like that. It's actually kind of perfect. And don't remove the drill, please. Or cliff explode behind the drill. That would be bad. Now we can do both at once. Where do we want our... Our pulse? Is that going to reach? It is indeed. Beautiful. So how many core drills do we have? 24. And if all of them are working, we get 48 per second. That's so much more than we need right now. It's like 50% more than we've been consuming. I would have said, uh, I guess I by now I should have started deleting Vulcanite so that we can keep those core fragments being processed. But, you know, so that we get all the other side project, uh, side products, including vanilla core fragments, which gives us all the basics. But since that was dependent on cargo rocket sections and bottlenecked on liquid rocket fuel, that's actually not the best idea. Not at the time, anyway. Alright, I'm gonna need some... ...containers here. There we go. And set this to nothing permitted. Use even distribution and move all of them in one go. Perfection. Then we'll have a little bit more belt. Wide area. Island substation. And one more drill connected to the system. Why is this one inactive? Actually, I wonder if this would line up. Yeah, I think I like that better than that. Diagonal. Oh. Very nice. And then... Get rid of all this wavy rail out this way. Don't worry about the cliff explosions. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if it's already exists, but it would be really nice if I could 
exclude cliff explosives from this deconstruction planner. Grab all of that, actually. Except for the cliffs. Leave the cliffs alone. Alright, off we go. With no room in our inventory. Um, Don't really need these right now. Not going to need half of these. Especially since... Yeah, I should have realized I only need like two bulk rail loaders per drill. Because we've got two there already. We found Felime. What's a Felime? It is super close. Uh, it's actually close enough to save us some time... Save us some travel distance, uh, just a little bit, compared to going via Foenestra. Just barely. Ish, probably. It's got pretty mediocre Nacrotite, though. So I don't think we'll be going there. I'm not really interested in going to asteroid fields. Um, for the sake of anything but Nacrotite. On the other hand, it's got ice. And it's really close to where we've already got a bunch of energy beaming infrastructure. So I could beam power there and use the ice um, to run the condenser turbines, which would be practically infinite. as we mine out a bunch of Nacrotite to get started. Because I, I'm not going to have um, high temp. Yeah, I'm not going to have high temp turbine. Oh, I'm, I guess I could. I actually could get high temp turbine generators before I get Nacrotite. That might be worth doing. But I really want to replace our spaceships. So the, the downside is I would be making an outpost that is like... Kind of non-standard. I don't really think that's a problem though. I mean, we can probably still use our standard... Um, Drop-off system. Do I want to do that for Nacrotite, though? Possibly? Stack size for Nacrotite is really small, so it's not like it's gonna... take a lot... to fill a ship. We can't use productivity modules in space to process the Nacrotite, right? Oh my goodness. Pretty sure we have to be on the ground. Nacrotite. Um, so first step is we mine it, obviously. And then we make crushed Nacrotite. We need a pulverizer or a mechanical facility. Um, the pulverizer can use prod modules, but not in space, I'm pretty sure. Wait, can I... Um, let's go to the editor for a second. Pulverizer... 
I was hoping to see if there's like a different version of it for space, like the um like some of the K2 machines. But I guess not. Crushed Naquitite. Can use prog modules. But I'm pretty sure we can't do it in space. If we could. Aquatite has a stack size of 10, and that's terrible. Um, crushed Aquatite goes to a whopping 20. And 8 turns into 2, so that's, even with productivity bonuses, that's a lot more stack efficient. Um, what's the next step? Apart from... Oh. Any and iron beads, crushed naquitite, crinite slush, beryllium hydroxide, and its mirror image. That's actually not a mirror image, it doesn't use two fluids. It uses iron beads, uh, sorry, the cadian ones. Twice as much crushed naquitite. Vitalic acid. Is this just an alternate recipe? Or... Do we kind of need to, like, swap back and forth between the two of them? 50% of these turn into... Well, we can think of it as 50% of these turn into the opposite bead. And it looks like 2 in, 0 to 2 out. That's probably 50%, right? Is it worth building these next to each other? Well, whatever the case, we're going to be putting them on the ground so that we can benefit from productivity modules. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be collecting Naquitite directly into spaceships. Uh, where do I want to put this one? Probably... Right about... Here? Perfection. And then... Maybe I will do a little diagonal for this one. But that's going to go back here. And then power pole in the obvious place. Oh, that's perfect. Too good. Yeah, I think despite the stack size, we're still going to get an Aquatite directly, because I really, really don't want to throw away productivity bonuses for such a rare and the only completely finite resource in the game. In fact, I should go and get some... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I should go and get some Productivity 9 modules, although they might be kind of hard to find. We've been having bad luck with those. But it'll be so slow at first, we could literally just build one machine with some Prod 9s in it. When can we make Prod 9s? Um, Bio 4. We need Deep Space 1 to get the Prod 9s. In other words, we need Naquitite to make the most of Naquitite. But I think that's worth doing. Mm. 
Oh my god. Hurry up and get out of my inventory. There we go. Alright, so diagonal rail down uh, this way. Doop -a -doop. We found a black mirror. The happiest and safest asteroid field. Where nothing goes wrong. Alright. Probably something like this. And get rid of these. And we pick these up. And extend this out in the obvious place. That's rude. Why doesn't it place that? There seems to be nothing in the way. I'm guessing the rock is actually in the way. Yep. Uh, and where's my diagonal? The rail kind of doesn't look like it's diagonal for some reason. Feels like it's at 30 degrees or something. I don't know why. And this goes here. Alright, we've got almost half of our... Four drills on this planet connected up to the spellevator now, I think. One, two, once we do this, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, almost halfway. And then we can finally do away with cargo rockets. Forever. Oh. It's a little bit of a task replacing this stuff, but it's going to be worth it. No more rocket crashes. No more pouring barrel into a million cargo rocket sections. Dodger, welcome in. How many hours do you have in this world now? Uh, yes. Creeping towards a month. And that's game time. Which has been below normal. Not severely below normal, but it's been below normal for a little while now. Sometimes it gets back up into the 50s. Oh, speaking of which, it just went up to 48 point something. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping when I remove all of these old systems and continue replacing... Oops. What? Why can't I... Uh, continue replacing, like, ye old green circuit build with something like this, where we get way more speed for fewer machines, and the belts are saturated all the time, etc. Um, I'm hoping we can... We can have quite a lot with pretty decent UPS this time. Advanced assembly machines, etc. certainly help. The bulk rail loaders help a lot, even though, uh, according to Mike Latt, experiments show that big containers actually lower UPS, even if they're not in use, or even if they're not... Uh, even if you limit them or something. Uh, but compared to my circuitry for doing complex loaders and unloaders last playthrough, it's a lot less impact on UPS. Very net positive by comparison. I think we're running out of robot juice. No? Not even a little bit. Huh. Internal buffer recharge rate 5 megawatt. This thing produces 
but I never saw the personal RoboPorts dip at all. Hmm. Huh. But yeah, um, we're going to turn all our old outposts with rail blocks all over the place and huge builds to make liquid rocket fuel and so on into something like... Well, let me look at my first outpost like this. Something like this. Nothing but some very simple rail network. Bunch of four mining drills with four containers, some splitters for each of them. That's it. To say it's simpler than the outpost that we had is quite the understatement. Especially if you use the recipes for um, liquid rocket fuel, the chain that involves uh, using water, which I strongly recommend even on a waterless planet, weirdly enough. Early game, if I were to do this all again, I would go for the smallest moons, um, so that it's as cheap as possible to get off of the moons. To get resources. Um, late game, what I really want to find is... What's our best example of this? Oh yeah, Bombato. Bombato is like perfect. Is that in the Vazana system? Yeah. If it was here, it would be even better. But um, we use Foenestra to basically teleport to the Vazana system. Uh, it takes... 20,000 Delta V to get there, and then we've got a very, very big planet very close to the interstellar map. Spaceships travel time and distance is a lot more in-system than you might expect, especially if a big chunk of... Speak of the Devil, Iron Hauler 21 just got here. Um, yeah, uh, the distance... To go just in system, like from Nalvis to the edge of the solar system, is a lot, a much bigger chunk of the journey than you would expect. That's why I'm so picky looking for larger planets that are closer to the edge of the solar system. I want as few outposts as possible to get the maximum throughput um, with the minimum area. Just so the save, uh, save file is smaller. It doesn't really impact UPS that much if we spread out. But the save file is like half a gig. The more area you've got revealed, the longer it takes um, to save or load the game. Um, so we got these over here. I'll probably have this rail go over this way. And this one, continue down this way and go across like this. May as well do that right now. But I want to do some design stuff. One more. And then I'll get, then I'll take a break from this. Do something a bit more intellectually challenging. Um, where am I going? Wrong blueprints. Where are they? SEK2. Oh, LCCL. Well, that's not actually the LCCL train blocks. Whatever. I've got the muscle memory to find it. Most of the time, that can stay there, I guess, even though it doesn't quite make sense. So this is going to go here. Doop -a doop we found Creepy Hollow. Spoopy. And... Hmm... I guess I'll do a little diagonal over here, actually. Oh, I already 
pointed that over that way. It's not too late. Get out of here, ghosts. Okay, so that's gonna go across like this. That's gonna go like like this. Not like that. Diagonals are such a pain. There we go. That's unfortunate. Um, how about up to the left a little bit? Is that max distance? I think so, not quite. Get out of here. Wait, what? How far can that go? I think that was... I think it was confused. Oh, that guy's gonna get stuck. Just gonna wait a moment. It can go further than this. Why did it not measure it properly? What the hell? What the hell? Nope, now it's not connected. I'm so confused. Okay, so that is too far. Yeah, that should be max distance. I think it's just Piccadilly's being weird with ghosts. Yeah. Probably right. And go. want to block this thing. The train just took this away, so I don't think we need to worry too much. Unless they come for these guys, which they are doing right now. I see how it is. And again, we're about to double the capacity of these things, so... Well, let's just say this goes here, this goes here. And I'll do a couple of extra ones in the meantime. Okay, how does this line up? Badly. I kind of expected that, to be honest. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Um, how about... Cut all of these and move them And to the left, one tile. Which means this guy can go here, actually. It will be stretched. But apparently it can. What? What? Oh my god, you have that lovely voice like listening to an audiobook that soothes, the, soothes you to sleep? Thank you so much. 
Mekumaki, welcome in, hope you're doing well. We go, good to see you again, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well also. I think it's just pick a, yes, yes, yes. I did the thing again where I read the comment and don't notice the name at first. Okay, so does this stretch over this way? It does not. And thank you for the follow, Meku. Let's let the bots catch up, I guess. Will not fit. We'll see about that. Can't be stretched. Can't be stretched. Bruh. And that one's a perfect fit. Beautiful. Give me some more landfill. I've made at least 78 landfill doing this. Did I just... Oh no, is this the walk of shame? Oh no. Uh, I ran out of liquid rocket... Uh, solid rocket fuel. Can I make... I cannot make a fuel processor. I'm... I'm four iron plate short. Wait, no, I've got iron ingots. It's fine. I need stone brick. Um, I've got a lot of stone. I don't have a furnace on me. I can make a furnace out of stone. The path to redemption. Okay, how many stone brick do we need for one of these? And this makes five at a time, right? Out of jetpack fuel, indeed. Oh, it's slow. Save the rest of the stone. I'm not sure why I'm saving the rest of the stone, actually. I guess it's one less stack of stuff if I don't have any stone brick left over. And now we... ban all of this. And... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There we go. Even distro this up here. Wait, I just realized it's going to go back in here, isn't it? It's fine. This is fine. Let's remove the old stuff. Oh, and what do we have over here? If not 10 stone bricks. Fuel processor, go. And in goes the coal. It's quite fast. Kind of fast. Cool, cool, cool. Give me some of that fuel already. There we go. Do I want this rail to go down this way, or like... No, I think I said across here. Be the way to go. But I'll do a common rail between these two. So like... doop a -doop, Something like this. Maybe around about here. Did I look at Creepy Hollow? I didn't. Crystal Collective. Creepy Hollow, Creepy Hollow. Creepy Hollow. It's relatively close. It's still far enough that... I mean, pretty much everything is far enough that we should go via Foenestra. Good stats. Uh, 300% frequency, 264, 139. 
That's like... That's like a somewhere around the 70 to 80 mark out of our arbitrary thing so far. Let's say 75. And then there's Crystal Collective. Ooh, 354, 339, 173. That's like... That's like ranked second. Alright, let's say 93. Cool, cool, cool. We're finding some good ones. Let's go remove all of this. Actually, let me count. We've got one, two, three. Is this working? Yes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's literally half, although this one's not powered right now. Twenty-two per second. That should be able to keep our Vulcanite going not as fast as we need for the whole base, but it's going to take a long time to run out of it. Um, I think I'll take a little break from this particular task, but not before I get this power pole connected. Just getting into space and science stuff, indeed. Bulk rail loader? Oh yes, it's a very nice... Uh, it's one entity. I mean, there might there's some invisible inserters built into it or something, but like, it's just one big container. Um, if a train, if a cargo wagon is parked under here, it'll put stuff into it. Bulk rail unloader does the opposite. And if you put chests uh, on the corners or like touching the corners. They will automatically take stuff from or put stuff into the chest. Which can be very handy. That reminds me I need to go back to get that jetpack fuel. Oh, great. In combination with load... Oh, no. Oh, no. I have to... I have to walk of shame back to the anti-walk of shame device. Let's borrow a train. Actually, I'm pretty close to this, aren't I? Uh, not that close. Wait for passenger present. And then go over here. Where you don't have path. Wait here. Or full cargo. There we go. Here it comes. Here it comes. I could also put a bunch of stuff in this train that I want to get rid of right now. It'll just find its way back to the mall. Beautiful. Um, what do we got? 11 times 2. Yeah, we need 22 more bulk rail loaders. So certainly not as many as I was carrying. Um, stone, get out of here. Pole, get out of here. Pipes, get out of here. Old power poles, get out of here. And really old belts, get out of here. It's so slow. A little train that could. Purple belts? Yep. Courtesy of Crestorio 2. They go 90 items per second. They're just fast enough that it kind of looks like the items are going backward. Uh, I'm sure there's a name for it, but you know the effect where you look at a spinning wheel, and depending on the frequency, um, it starts to look like it's moving backward.
How are you going to get all that stuff back to Hagen? Same way that... Well, more or less, same way that I'm doing it with uh, Yibil. Although, I might have to take further steps to get liquid rocket fuel sent. Uh, basically, we're just shoving everything into these cargo rockets. Uh, and aiming them at old uh, landing pads. So back at those landing pads, because the cargo rockets crash all the time, um, oh, and even if they don't crash, they give us, like, space capsules and some recycled cargo rocket sections, right? Um, so we want to get rid of those. We send them back to a vanilla scheduled uh, train station, and all of this gets taken back to the mall. So this is how we're sending everything back. That's a huge city. Oh, this? Yeah, this is our main base. Or our main ground base. It's on the outermost moon in our solar system. How much data does your save file take up? More than half a gig. Yep. More than half a gig. That's, that's how much. <laughs> yes. Um, it takes up a lot more space um, just by having a planet fully explored, actually. Like, we need to... Ooh. I need to have Nalvis fully scanned so that we can have the, the energy glaives uh, clear it automatically for us. And all of this, even if I'm not doing anything with it, even if it's a world that's mostly just empty desert, uh, it takes up a lot more space than you might think. So, our save file gets much bigger and it takes a lot longer to save or load the game when we've got this stuff revealed. But as of like halfway through when I was playing through space exploration last time, uh, they added a feature whereby if you remove all of the biters uh, from a planet, you can click this button right here. Confirm hostile extinction. Uh, it'll reduce the threat percentage down to zero. Well, if there's biter meteors, it'll say 1%, but it's actually like zero. Um, and the reason you need that, I learned this the hard way, is look at all this area that I've cleared. Um... I could demonstrate it if I save scum, but it would honestly take, like, a few minutes. Maybe not a few minutes at this point, but it, it would take a while to save and uh, load the game again. But if I uh, trim the surface here, so all of this explored area becomes blacked out, like, like what we've got at Stromhurst, for example. We've got, like, the bare minimum area revealed so that we can get a decent number of coal mining drills. Uh, all of that black area, even if you've cleared the biters, if you trim the surface back, they will respawn. Um, like, all that is behind that black area is procedurally generated. Um, the game is no longer keeping track of what's here. There is some stuff going on, like, I don't know how far out, and it's not, it's just not showing you, because it's like quite close to where you have explored, so say you've got pollution coming out here, it will upset some biters that you haven't seen yet over this way, but at some cutoff point, none of this out here actually exists. So if you've cleared biters, and then you trim it back, um, they're gonna reappear, basically. Oh no, 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 no. Didn't I just accidentally reveal that? Stromhurst. I did. Let's trim the surface again. Snippy snip. And there we go. Alright, we found um, something called 
Dark Flare. Sounds like a cool evil magician name. Why why is our UPS crashing temporarily when we trimmed a surface? Interesting. Um speaking of which, I'm currently scanning Was it Galactic Graveyard? No, I'm not actually scanning it. Let's let's delete that surface as well. Okay, so what did we find? We found Dark Flare. Which is... 42k Delta V away. It is... Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Yeah, that's our, that's our new winner. That's, that's a lot of Nacrotite. It's not really calculating any of the rest of it. Yeah, exactly. So one of the reasons, uh, like this planet, this moon... It's actually not a moon. This planet Granus is an exception because I needed lots of Vulcanite, and it's kind of small anyway. Um, but normally I'm not exploring the entire planet and getting every single coal mining drill. Um, because you get diminishing returns from each drill that you add, and they're spread out further and further apart as you go away from the center. So as you spread out, you're getting less and less uh, throughput of core fragments for the space that you've got invested. It doesn't really impact UPS very much, but it does make the save file bigger and bigger. Um, so what I'm going for with my outposts is a balance of um, a relatively small area. Well, this is a much smaller area. A, a relatively small area um, revealed so that I can get, you know, a decent little bit into the diminishing returns. Uh, and then we stop, and if I need an, if I need more... Uh, if I need more Iridite Core Fragments, I'll probably look for another outpost. What's that used for? Uh, the, the Nacrotite? Really late game, high tech stuff. We need it to make antimatter engines. Which are literally superior to our other engines in every way, except for how much space they take up. I think they might consume more power than the most basic engines, but they consume ten times less power than the ion engines. Anyway, back we go. I got my flight stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we don't have a path, do we? I'm going to drive this manually backward and hope nothing bad happens. What's your ship look like? Uh, well, let's see. This, uh, here's one of my hauler ships. We got ion engines at the back. Uh, I wish I'd gone for six condenser turbines for power. Um couple of nuclear reactors. I actually only use one of them at a time. They do gain... Huh. Plus 0% neighbor bonus. I guess they have to both be consuming to get the neighbor bonus. Um, but if we put just one uranium fuel cell into these uh, both at the same time, it actually wastes some of the heat that comes out. Um, so it's more fuel efficient this way. But yeah, we've basically got a bunch of buffer chests. Uh, and I use bots to load and unload them. This way I can send ammo, bots, power packs for the trains, space elevator cables, uh, to the outpost on the same ship that is taking stuff from the outpost. Oh hey, good timing. This happens... This is probably our first ship that's, uh... Visiting Granus, our new outpost. Nope, I lied. It's probably the second one. This one's already here. 
Okay then. I forgot, I was trying to manually drive this back. I'm so confused how the steam is working for that. Don't think too hard about it, it's fine. Just, just imagine that they use the steam for a little bit of extra propulsion. Just let the pressure push them a little bit. I mean, the heat from the reactor to the boiler? Oh, heat pipes. Yeah. Oh, I know. I can go this way and then I can set it to automatic. Because I can't set it to automatic to go home right now because the all of these rails are one way. This one is two way. There we go. There we go. Yeah, uh, basically we've got... Uh, a bunch of metal that's very good at conducting heat on the inside, and some insulators on the outside, no doubt. The game itself doesn't go into that much detail. It's not like oxygen not included where you engineer, uh, engineer these things yourself in detail. Although I have to say, um, if someone were to give birth to the love child of those two games, um, I'm only speculating of course, but that might be ridiculously successful at grabbing the demographic that enjoys these types of games. Never mind, I'm tired. Lama thought I was doing, thought it was doing something else. No worries. Love Child of what two games? Uh, Factorio and Oxygen not included. I don't mean that you would have like a colony sim with Factorio. I mean, the way Oxygen not included forces you to design things in a lot more detail with the engineering stuff, like. Uh, like how you transfer heat to some oil to boil it into petroleum without melting things, uh, that kind of thing. Factorio XKSP, my life would be over? Yes, absolutely. I haven't tried it yet, but I just picked up a little game called, uh, let me see. Uh, Juno New Origins. It's very... Not like the the art style or anything, but it's very KSP-ish looking. Uh, and it's got overwhelmingly positive reviews. And it looks like... Well, I don't want to speculate too much, but uh, just judging by the look of it, it's like there's a lot of procedural generation for parts and stuff like that. Looks like it's probably better optimized, I would hope anyway. K2 plus SE, my life is already over. This is true. I mean, I don't know if I would ever find... If I wasn't streaming this, I don't know if I'd ever find the time to put in for SE K2 playthroughs. It's a lot. And not just because I'm talking to chat and stuff, obviously. Okay, what should I do now? Um, I'm going to hope that we've actually got enough throughput of Vulcanite core fragments one way or another that I don't have to panic to finish doing everything I'm doing on this planet right now. Because I really want to take a little break from it. So let's go and... I was actually thinking about designing some Naquatite. Even though it's kind of jumping the gun. Do I even have the technology to mine Naquatite right now? Naquium processing. I can probably mine it, but I can't process it. So we need Astro 4, Material 4. Okay. Let's go back to Hagen Orbit.
This is basically an engineering job? If it's that easy, hook me up. Space elevators just instant eat you into orbit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... You've got different surfaces in this game. Um, the vanilla game, you're only ever going to be dealing with one surface. The mod only has so much to work with, right? Um, so teleportation is pretty much what it's going to have to do. Besides which, if it did like an animation or forced you to wait or something, I think that'd be... that'd get a bit tedious. I think it's an acceptable break from reality. Kind of like a space elevator in the first place. Unless we find some hitherto undiscovered elements or alloys. Sorry if I'm being silly. No, it's fine. I just don't see a lot of endgame stuff like this. Yeah, compared to vanilla, this is just way beyond endgame. Like, vanilla endgame, depending on how you define it, is... I launched a rocket into space with a satellite. Um, in space exploration, that's more or less the beginning. Or it's approaching the end of the beginning. I've noticed, yeah. Oh boy. I just remembered that I want to deconstruct all of this eventually. Like, all of this stuff that we never think about is costing UPS, even if it's relatively small, because a lot of it's just sitting here... Oh. Ouchie. Yeah, all of this unseen stuff that we haven't looked at or thought about on Nalvis for a long time, um, that's costing us. Certainly all the biters are, but we're clearing those out. We'll be back at Hagen Orbit in a couple of minutes. I could do some more research. Let's find more deep space zone discovery. You know, I get the impression that we're not... Whoop, whoops, whoops, that's probably fine. I didn't know you could double click that. I get the impression we're not supposed to find... Like it's hard coded in that we won't find Naquitite as the primary resource. But like the first dozen uh, deep space zone discoveries. I don't think I ever saw one last time. I could be misremembering. Dark Flare is actually kind of close to Calidus, but it's still far enough away. Ooh. Ooh. That's extremely convenient. So the best Naquitite source that we've found is actually close enough that we could beam energy from Calidus. Or I could go to a forest uh, to beam energy if I really want to. But we've already got all of this infrastructure right here. Fields and fields of solar panels. Um, and, well, I could probably test this right now. Let's borrow this one. Dark. Dark flare. Uh, energize. Just aim it here. We get 8.3% of the power that we send out. Considering how little power we're going to need at the destination, that's probably fine. The reason we need this is because there's no solar power that we can exploit out there. So we're going to uh, we're going to transfer heat like we're doing with this thing, uh, which is going to be caught by a big old energy beam receiver. And we're going to have pretty much the rest of a nuclear power plant with the heat pipes, heat exchangers, and steam turbines. Or rather, condenser turbines that recycle 99% of the water. But I would prefer... I'm really kind of torn. I would prefer it if I had high temp turbine generators before I do this. But I really want to get Naquitite's going so that I can get rid of the old spaceships and replace them with much more efficient and reliable ones. 
Time to nuke Nowis, indeed. So, yeah, if I really want, I could set up some energy beaming at a forest, just because it would get more percentage sent to Dark Flare. But we've already got all that infrastructure at Calidus. And we don't lose as much as you would think, beaming at a relatively long distance. I wonder how much I would get if I send it, like, as far as possible. How about Galactic Graveyard? It actually tells us before I pick a target, 2.5%. That's pretty bad, but it's like, it's still usable. If we're just trying to run some mines and some, uh, like, anti-media defenses. It might actually be easier to beam power a really, really long way. Scorchening continues. That's gonna take its sweet time. It should be a bit should be a lot faster on Malvis. We got 63% as opposed to 13%. Yeah, it's 13% just to beam power this far. But the drop-off is substantially less at longer distances. Like, it's not a straight line or anything. This is like 8% and maximum distance was like 2.5%. Um, but yeah... 63% of our energy we beam from Calidus to Nalvis is getting through. Uh, and as you can see, it's uh, it's going to clear the biters a little bit faster. I guess we're probably not going to see the end of this today either. Probably next time. Is what I'll keep saying until it happens. Basically making a Dyson Sphere, little by little. There's another hole of moving. Ooh, wait, what? Why are you empty? Uh, what happened? It's going... It's going to Gibil Orbit. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I know what happened. I think, I think, I think, I think, yep, I forgot to change this, I think the next one is 55, this is supposed to only send information on tick 55 with our, with our global clock, because it was sending information at the same time, this thing got messed up, um, crap, how many others are confused? Who knows? How about you just go to Granus? Granus orbit. And it'll get its memory cell reset when it lands. Should be fine. Okay. We are back. I kind of want to design uh, Naquim processing. I know it's like a bit further in the future, but I just feel like it, you know? Marcel, welcome in. Thank you for the three consecutive streams. Thanks for hanging out. All right, we need um, apple, we need bacon. I don't think I'm ever going to bother with the white beacon twos. I could be wrong. Whatever. 
we're probably going to have far more than we need for processing without really trying here. Uh, efficiencies go to here. Perfect. And how much would this be? 84 Nacrotype per second? Uh, that's... That's a little more than we need. Maybe someday. Now, I think, I think first I would like to design... Um, what I want to build just to get things started, which is to say... We want the maximum possible productivity bonus. We're going to hunt down productivity nines. And use as few productivity nines as possible to get as much as possible out of our Nacrotite. Um, I'm going to pretend I only have tier 6 modules for efficiency and speed. But we'll probably have more of those to slot in. Is this not powered? No, it's definitely powered. Negative... Oh, plus 500%. Didn't, didn't it say that last time? Plus 200. Minus 80. Okay, so what's our rate here? Half a stack of Nacrotite per second. Cool, cool, cool. And what's our next step? Crushed Nacrotite goes into... We need a couple of advanced chemical plants. Refined Nacrotite. Oh! Yeah, this is more what I was expecting. We don't actually pick the recipe here. It's going to be like... Um, like the Arcospheres that swap recipe. Interesting. Okay, so we can use prods for this. Yeah, this will be a fun build. Wait. Is it? Products 50%. Where's the... Okay, FNEI said that... When we turn... Crushed into refined... There's two recipes. But it looks like I can only pick this recipe to start with. What do we do with the refined that is already powder? Uh, the... Yeah, refined nequitite. Oh, this is going to get complicated. This is going to get real complicated. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. First of all, we have Iridium Plate in. And Naquium in. Um... I just want to do this so we can sort of visualize what we're dealing with here. So these are our two solid inputs. It outputs brushed nacrotite, which needs to go into this recipe. We can bring beryllium hydroxide in from elsewhere, I think. Could be wrong. I need to search for beryllium hydroxide storage. And I didn't mean to check all surfaces. Here we go. Cool. Wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah, cool. We are already putting it into the rail network. Um, that's good. I probably looked at that before already. So we can get that from the rail network. Um, let's just assume an infinite supply of beryllium hydroxide. We need cryonite slush as well. Same deal. And we need anion ion exchange beads. Uh, 
and also some crushed naquitite. Oh, it recycles iridium plate. It also makes... Oh, this is going to be a pain. So we need to export iridium powder. Do I already have a build that we can easily just... Yes, I do. We can just have iridium powder delivered straight to here. That's good. Um... So we'll need to have a high-priority output station to pick that stuff up. I'll just, for now... What was it? Iridium powder. Iridium powder. And... Let's have a... Infinity loader to delete that. So we're not just we're not designing the whole thing at this stage. We're just trying to visualize what we actually need to do. Um, water is ten per recipe. This also outputs water. Is anything going to consume water? We can always just flare stack it and or export it to the rail network. Exactly 0%, please. Uh, so what I usually do when we, we recycle one of the inputs and they come back to us is I either have a sushi belt or I have what I call a swap chest. At least 2x2 two two chest, which will put... Superior filter inserter. There we go. Iridium plate into here. And then we just consume from it. We can use circuitry to make it smart so it only puts iridium plate in here if this is empty. But we don't really have to because as of I don't know what version of the game, uh, these two will take turns. And since iridium comes back 80% of the time? And we have a... Yeah, 80% of the time we get one Iridium plate back. And every swing of the inserter we can take in 12. So that should never get out of hand. So now we have our crushed uh, Iridite coming out. Crushed Naquitite, rather. And we can actually use it... For this. So we've got one recycled product and two uh, uh, two products that we want to export to the rail network and or flare. It's not much water so we can probably just export it. But I can always put in a, like a backup to flare stack the water if it ends up full. So, so far, I'm seriously considering just having separate blocks to simplify that. But the crushed naquitite has almost as bad of a stack size as the naquitite itself. So maybe we want to direct belt that. Now we get into the fun part. I think this is one of those recipes that swaps itself once it finishes. Because the other version of the recipe isn't actually selectable from what I saw. I could just be wrong about that. Okay, maybe it's a lot easier than I thought. Let's see. Crushed Naquitite. I couldn't see this recipe, trying to select it from the advanced chemical plant. Oh, is this it? Oh, okay. 
Wait, what? I'm so confused. So the recipe for refined naquitite and naquium powder both output some refined naquitite and some ref uh, some naquium powder. Is this just kind of a better version of it? What do we get and what do we have to put in? Let's see. Oh, the fact that this outputs ion exchange beads, that's going to be annoying. And beryllium powder. The, the number of byproducts is stacking up real fast. Okay. Might just put this here so that it's like very clear that we've got the same shared byproduct from these two. This one actually outputs sulfuric acid. Huh. That's a useful byproduct, though. Okay, this one takes in 10 crushed. Gives us 5 to 7 refined. Let's just call that 6. And 4 naquim powder. 10 becomes 6 and 4. 20 becomes... Six and eight. Oh, not eight, more than that. Yeah, we get more naquium powder for our crushed naquitite with this recipe. What do we do with refined naquitite? We need some of it to... Oh... Do we need to control the ratio for this? Because we need both to make naquium ingots in equal measure. Okay. Let's put down an advanced furnace. And we can see our goal, at least. Naquium ingot. Fifty percent refined naquitite, fifty percent naquim powder. We also need methane, which, uh, now that I think of it, I haven't checked on this in a long time. I've got one infinite source of methane, and that is as a by oh crap, oh crap, we haven't been making. Uh, we haven't been making as much. Vitamalunge for a while. Whoopsie daisy. You can get methane from mining asteroid fields, but. Well, not asteroid fields, I, probably asteroid fields, but also asteroid belts. Um, but this is the only infinite source of it, it's a byproduct of. Where's the signal there? Uh, it's a byproduct from making vitamolange stuff. Specifically, it is a byproduct of spice itself. So even if you were somehow not making extract, you would definitely get the methane. I really don't want to waste it because I don't want to have to go mining it. Oh. Yeah, I need to make another trip here. Anyway, glad that was brought to our attention. So two fluids need to be dropped off. We need refined naquitite and we need naquium powder. We probably want those to be in the same block because stack size 20. How do we make naquitite crystal? There's only one recipe that has it even as a side product. Uh, we get Vitalic Reagent plus these two 
Some of it gets recycled for all three. Some of it, 61% of it gets turned into crystal. Okay, so basically, basically we can think of it as these three go in, this one comes out, because we're just going to recycle these. Perhaps I should have everything that consumes these two connected to the same chest, or in the same chest. Let's see. I never expected sulfuric acid as a byproduct. It's not going to be, like, any more difficult to get rid of it than water or iridium powder or anything. Um, but yeah, we're going to be... We're going to be net consuming the iridium plate. That doesn't have to go anywhere. We're going to be net consuming, obviously, the naquitite stuff. Holmium powder, iridium powder, and beryllium powder is all going to have to be exported. Let me just double check. Holmium powder. Yeah, we do drop that off here. Uh, beryllium powder is going to be pretty much the same deal. It's in the rail network already. Fantastic. Iridium powder, I think we confirmed. Same thing. Uh, it gets dropped off here. Not here. Here. So we've already got systems waiting to pick up this stuff. Squirrel time, indeed. Map editor, Nani. The mod is called Editor Extensions. Probably gonna need a giant 2x2 two two block for the ingot process, maybe. I mean, if I build it small, probably not. Um, and then we'll maybe think about scaling it up after we can make more productivity nines. But at first I just want something functional with the maximum productivity bonuses. Um, but we're going to need Vitalik. That's going to come from the rail network as well. As is, uh, where is it? Which machine was it that did that recipe? Centrifuge. I really wish there was a higher tech centrifuge that was faster and preferably used more prod modules. But I would, I would settle for faster, but had at least, allowed you to use at least two prod modules. I've been away, did you start a NAC outpost? I didn't, I just felt like figuring it out. Especially after doing something that doesn't take a whole lot of thought for a while. Um, it's very different from the last playthrough. Like, I'm, I'm as new to this as anyone. Inri Inri, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so... Yeah, I think we'll have this just take from and put into this big chest. That's easy. And we can just put a limit of like, I don't know, 200 Nacrium Crystal or something. So it doesn't fill the whole thing. It doesn't really matter what the limit is as long as there's room for everything else. But I imagine it's going to be quite slow. Oh, it is. I was going to say it's agonizingly slow, but I don't even have a beacon here. Um, if, if we had beacons... We're looking at... One Naquitite crystal every five, four or five seconds. So one Naquim ingot every ten-ish seconds which, uh, that probably would be the bottleneck. I could do a couple of these here, easy enough. Uh, 
I hope... I hope those are all the machines that need to swap between... Uh, swap all of their refined Naquitite and... Uh, Naquim powder. Let's see... Refined Naquitite comes out of this one, this one, and this one. Perfect. And what about Naquim powder? Uh, exactly the same thing. Everything that produces one of these produces the other as well as those three recipes. Even if it's just as a byproduct, net negative. Um, so we're going to put some... We're going to put a little bit of... Vitalik reagent into here. Just one stack is probably enough. So that these two can work. Maybe put, in, put it in the middle. Symmetry. Alright, alright, alright. So we're going to have a filtered... Superior filter inserter. We're going to be taking... Refined Naquitite and Naquim powder. Refined Naquitite. Naquim powder. And you know what I could do that would make it easy to balance this? I was thinking about some complicated comparisons we could do. Well, not that complicated, but what might be easier instead is if we just say... Refined Naquitite, Naquim Powder, and I, oh, I can do both. Yeah, 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 this works well. I was thinking of picking one recipe or the other, uh, like we could do the one that gives us more refined Naquitite on one pit of logic and the one that gives us more powder on the other bit of logic but we can just do it with the individual inserters which means that both of those recipes can be running um so we're gonna say if refined naquitite is less than or equal to naquim powder then we can put that in and if Naquim powder is less than or equal to refined Naquitite. Wait, isn't that going to fill up the entire thing? Quite possibly. I could do like set filters blacklist so they'll only put a little bit of whichever resource in here as long as it's less, as long as it's four items or less that go in this chest, which, uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, yeah, that works, that works, uh, quite well, actually, anything not in this chest we're allowed to put in this chest, as far as these two are concerned, set filters blacklist, that's all there is to it. Much more elegant. Uh, why are there beads in here? Oh, no, it is going to take beads and stuff. Never mind, never mind. Um, a filter. So I could just say, I could go even simpler. This should work just fine. 
They have the same stack size, right? 20 and 20. Yep. We're going to say... Refined neck. Less than... Not even 40. And same, same, but different. Might actually be as easy as that. How quickly does this consume? Quite slowly, I imagine. Really, really slowly. Okay. And then... I would like these two to swap beads. I'm not going to be thinking about the water for now. Actually, do it like this. Okay, we can put a 2x2 two two chest here. Maybe move this over a bit. And we'll use a swap chest just like we're going to do with the... Uh, just like we're going to do with the Iridium Plate. This one's going to... Well, no, the inserter doesn't have to be smart. The, the one that puts it in the chest has to be smart. So unconditionally collect from this chest. And we're going to output all of our Atian Ion Beads over here. And all of our Anion Ion Beads over here. And that'll have enough of a priority, like 50-50, that it'll take from there as opposed to... Uh, as opposed to this other input. Enough to keep it down. Let's make beads. Oh. And then... Crushed Nacquitite also goes in here. And we need Holmium Cable. And also, where the heck is our granite slush? Oh, I rotated this the wrong way. These two. Oh, we need some holmium cable as well. We're just bringing these in from outside. And then we can just take everything from here. That's it. So now we've got a better idea of the shape of this monstrosity. Um... I wonder how would be the best what would be the best way to go about it to scale it better. Burgers and fries, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If the ratios are a little bit off, wouldn't you be blocked by your machine not producing resource two? Because it has enough of resource one and won't get resource one out of the machines. Uh, it may already have happened, it may not happen because these guys will throw it off. Yeah, I think, uh... Without thinking it through tentatively, I want to say that making the Naquitite Crystal might prevent that from happening. Oh, uh, also we need to get rid of... We need to export sulfuric acid to the rail network. So maybe that was actually never a problem. If I delete this undo, 
it loses its settings. That's a little bit annoying. Um, I kind of want to reset this whole thing. But I need to watch out that I don't delete the cheat pipes. Let's, whoops, let's put this over here. Yeah, it seems to default to at least 100% for whatever it was doing. Nope, that one didn't. That's weird. Oh, it's because I cut and paste it. Okay. Can I... Yeah, why don't I just cut paste? We're going to reset the whole thing and make sure... Make sure that actually works the way we think it does. I'll get to the processing next stage one day. I'm not there yet. I just felt like uh, working on it. Could make cryo slush on site instead of exporting the acid. Oh yeah, I forgot what goes into cryo slush. Cryo slush is one sulfuric acid makes ten, um, and we can productivity it, so it's even worse than that. My question is, are we going to be net positive on cryo-slush if we do this? We could maybe do this as well as exporting the cryo-slush. Um, sorry, as well as exporting the uh, sulfuric acid. Because we'd be less net negative on the sulfuric acid? What? Hold on. Rate calc isn't going to help here because I need to know exactly how much I'm actually getting. So let's see. One cryonite slush gives us like six and four. Oh, it's hard to calculate this as the whole system, isn't it? So we're going to gain, like, 1.8 sulfuric acid for each recipe from this, and we're going to consume one cryonite slush from each recipe for this, and... No, we're going to be massively... Like, if we imagine that going in a circle, which isn't quite right, we're going to be massively positive on cryonite slush, I think. I would have to deliver cryonite rods uh, if I do this directly, so it's probably just as easy, if not easier, to export the um, sulfuric acid. And then we don't have to worry about maybe being net positive on cryonite slush, which means that we have to export ten times as much fluid, more or less. Yeah, well, more than that, because productivity bonuses. Just an idea? Yeah, ideas are worth looking into. I wouldn't do both, because then you have to bring in rods and take out acid. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, people skip that. Is it jammed? Oh, I didn't get rid of the barrel, that's why. Okay, um, also didn't get rid of the holmium powder. I'm going to use cheat inserters um, for this part to show that, to make it really obvious that, like, this part is where we export something. That's the wrong one. Uh, 
Oh, this should be whitelist. There we go. Uh, and apparently we're not deleting our sulfuric acid. There we go. Bat boy, not so slim. Thought it was resub tomorrow. It now is tomorrow. It now is tomorrow. Thank you so much for the fifteen months. Much appreciated. And thank you so much for hanging out, and chilling out here all the time. Much appreciated. Something wrong on the slush machine. Something wrong? I got rid of it. What's wrong with it? Oh, the machine that consumes slush. We've got refined naquitite and we're way ahead of it on the refined naquitite. So are we just never... Nope, nope, it is working sometimes. Okay. So far, these two are very bottlenecked on these guys consuming uh, powder and refined so that we rebalance it. And ultimately, refined powder is what, what these two recipes are for. So basically, this is our bottleneck. It's not that this isn't working properly. I could just have... Yeah, I could have like a shared belt for Naquin powder and refined Naquitite go somewhere for these two. And another belt for input and output reagent. And Naquitite crystal. Probably do a sushi belt for those two. This is a uh, this is one of those cases where if you have that one mod that lets you make ridiculously long composite chests, um, that would be re ex extremely useful. But yeah, I kind of wanted to just figure out what's the bare minimum, and I think we got it. I think that is how we turn our first little trickle of Naquium ingots uh, into as many uh, as many uh, our first little trickle of Naquitite into as many Naquium ingots as possible with as few found prod six uh, sorry prod nine modules as possible. And then we can take that and use it to make more. Alright, um, we've actually gone a little bit over time for today. Let's see who is streaming Factorio. Ten's Dungeon? Mayhouse? Ten's Dungeon? Whoop. May Which Factorio? There we go. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. We go, take care. And everyone else as well. Did I raid Mr. Dane like yesterday or the day before? Yeah, I think I did. S oh, KSE, yes, absolutely. Let's drop in on tens. Thanks for the stream. Take care. Evil Claw, thanks for hanging out as well. Beldak. Oknos. Captain True. And everyone else as well. Take care, Rain. Thanks for lurking. Take care, Bugs and Fries. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Uh, tomorrow will be just... what's today? Monday. Tomorrow I'm just going to chill out with some more Mech Warrior. Uh, Thursday is more Kerbal Space Program. Oh, I need to do my homework. Um, Ferrum Aerospace Research. I remembered like five minutes or so after the end of that last stream that it has some tools where it shows you like 
angle of attack. Like, uh, it shows you all kinds of graphs that are designed for literal, like, aerospace engineers. Um, you'll, you'll know, like, different stats for the same craft traveling at different speeds and all sorts of things. That's what I needed to be paying attention to. That's why it was so difficult to get that plane to work. But, yeah, looking forward to figuring out all that again. Uh, what's Friday? Oxygen not included? Then we're back to another three days for SEK2. More SEK2. Um... Hey! 